needed and also motivate the souls of those who are falling behind and give reason for those who are backsliding to return back to the struggle and become part of what we are doing because we don't have any option than to continue firing this bullet until Nigeria is down. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very, very much, my brother. Live right now, we are live on Biafra TV and we are live on Aside Hot Biafra TV. We are also live in so many platforms. We are making sure that this movement, that this particular program is shared extensively and we are going, we are, we are targeted at least, at least, at least 1 million Biafrans to listen to this program in the next 48 hours. Uh, please, my brother, Mazi Solomon, Peter, I want you to go ahead and introduce you to, uh, yourself to Biafrans. Go ahead and admit yourself. Thank you. Good morning from my end here from Sydney, Australia. So today is uh, 20, uh, 29th March 2001 at my end. And uh, according to the Biafran time, I will be greeting in the, at the time of Biafran to all Biafran who are joining into these very programs and to the lovers of freedom and uh, and all the people who loves uh, what we are doing as to restore biafra so i will be greeting you in biafra time which is good evening you are welcome into this very program um uh, i am here to introduce myself uh, um which uh, i want everyone who is listening to know who i am i am i am solomon peter and i live here in um I live here in Sydney, Australia. So I come from Anambra State and the uh, Anambra State, you know, you local government, for local, local, local government, I'm an indigenous of Okuzu, which is uh, Biafran land. So uh, thank you so much, Mazi. She became for bringing me into this very program this morning. I so much appreciate. Thanks. Thank you very, very much, my brother. We are noticing that um, uh, that our brother Mazi Terry Nemi is coming in and uh, it seems like the network is kicking him out. He have come in before and we noticed that he, he left and he came again and he left again. We don't know what is actually happening, but we are going to wait for him to join us. Once he joins us, we are going to bring him in so that he can introduce himself properly to our people because a lot of idiots are out there ranting and making noise saying that Mazen Namdekano is not consulting anybody from the riverine area, that Mazen Namdekano is, is not giving our people from the riverine area, from the coastal region of Biafra, opportunity to be part of this movement. And they, I tell them that they are liars. Therefore, here is our current African rep in this program right now. Please, Mazi Nemi, can you go ahead and introduce yourself? Mazitari Nemi, if you can hear me, please kindly introduce yourself to Bia France. Good evening from Are you still there, Mazitari Nemi? Can you hear and lovers of freedom? Uh, my yes. Go ahead. Hello, can anyone hear me from there? Yes, yes. Go ahead, my brother. Go ahead. I can hear you loud and clear, but I don't know if you can hear me. The word is hearing your voice. Go ahead and speak, my brother. Hello? Go ahead. The word is hearing you. Go ahead. Oh. Go can ahead. Yes, yes. Go ahead. We can hear you. I bro. want to be sure you can hear me. I want to be sure everyone can hear me. Yes, everyone is hearing you. Go ahead and speak, please. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Yes, as I was saying, good evening, great Biafrans and lovers of freedom all over the world. My name is Tari Nemi. I am from a town called Udu. In Biasa State, and Biasa State is in Biafra land. Biasa State is an exhaust state in the zoo uh, which the zoo called them um, by is a portion of his own land in 
that language is not by, uh, by us. Okay, and that's where I I came from by the special grace of God. I serve the indigenous people of Biafra as South African rep. And that's me. Thank you very much, my brother. We can go on. Thank you very, 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 very much, Sir Nemi. Uh, we noticed that I your think network I didn't is from my end. I don't know what it's from my end. Yes, yes, we yes. heard you. We heard you, my brother. If the whole world heard your introduction, it's just that your network is um is not that strong. So, but everything you said here, we heard you very loud and clear. Thank you very, very much for that introduction. And now, uh, Mazi, we noticed that his network is fluctuating, so we are going to wait for him to keep coming in and going out until it is stable. Uh, this evening on this platform, uh, we say welcome to each and every one of you that is watching us live and direct. Um, we have few things to discuss about, but these few things, we I want us to uh, deal on it extensively because our people are waiting. So many people have inboxed me. So many people have been asking me, Prince, why are you people not talking about this particular issue about some charlatans that went to Abuja? There are some charlatans that went to Abuja. Uh, they were they were paid. They were they were they were uh, sponsored. You know, these charlatans were sponsored by the state, by the Nigerian government, by the governors from the eastern region, those that are fighting against our leader, and the idiot they called Uchemefo. for this is how they ganked up with the pig from the creek. They called Asari Dokubo. They ganked up and they called these charlatans. <laughs> they paid them. Uh, is it uh, a head that they gave them? I think it's uh, 50 50,000 naira from the information I'm getting. That they paid them 50 50,000 naira to come and wash their dirty linens outside. And uh, they went to uh, Abuja and they danced naked in the marketplace. Uh, it is a dance of, of, of the idiots, of the of the animals. So, and I want us to talk about it. I want us to touch light about it because. This has to do with us. If we do not touch light about touch light it, if we leave them, if we don't talk about it, it will look as if we are afraid of talking about them. I am not afraid of speaking about anybody. So we have to talk about them. But before we talk about them, there is something that I want to show on this video. I want you all to watch. When you are done watching it, you'll be able to key in with the analysis that you're going to get from this platform this evening. Because as they hurt, now so will they talk them. We don't spare no idiot, no matter where you come from. As long as you are an impediment to this movement, to the restoration of Biafra, we will we crush you. It doesn't matter where you come from. We don't give a toss. We don't even want to know who you are. You can do anything you want to do. You can go to hell for all we care and take money from any idiot. Then come to wash your little knees outside. But we, in this platform, we are going to bring you out to showcase you, to show you to the whole world. Since they said, uh, if we talk about you, that we are going to make you popular. We are going to make you popular, but you should choose whether it is in the positive or in the negative way. So making somebody popular is of two types. It's either you make that person popular in a positive way or in a negative way. So however, today we are going to dissect this idiot. We are going to dissect this idiot. But before we dissect this idiot, I want to show the world something. Something that you have to put down there in your heart. I want you to watch very, very close to what you're about to see now. When you are watching this, then why we, when we begin to give analysis to this idiot, that animals are far better than, then you understand why we are doing what we are doing. This is Totis. This is Totis. I want you to watch. Please, dear friends, watch. Watch very, very well. One of the tortoises fell down and, and submersaulted. So it was facing upward. The, 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 the tortoise cannot move. This is an animal. And the second tortoise, the brother, or should I say the sister, or whatever it may be, went and helped this tortoise to pull this tortoise up. Watch it. I want you to watch it. It is something that you are going to use to build as a preamble because of the topic we are going to speak about today. This is an animal. Look at it. This is an animal helping each other. Helping each other, pushing the... You see it. Thank you. You have seen it. I want you to watch this very, very well. Watch it again. That is a tortoise. Helping a fellow tortoise. Helping a fellow tortoise. That is a tortoise. Helping a fellow tortoise. 
and now they moved away. And now they moved away. Because on this platform, we like to practicalize things that we are talking about. We like to show you people example of whatever we represent. This is a tortoise. It fell down and was facing upward. Without the second tortoise to come and push it up, it will remain there and it's going to die there. It is going to remain there and it's going to die of hunger there. But the fellow tortoise, which is an animal created by God, came and lifted it up. It rendered a help, a hand of... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to explain this for you people to understand how I'm how I understand this particular uh, footage that I just show you. This tortoise helped a fellow tortoise to regain its freedom. But inside our own land, in our own place where we call our own home, our brothers are the people dragging us down. Our own brothers are the people that are pulling us down. When they notice that you are moving up, when they notice that you are breaking through. When they notice that you are trying to make something good, do something good for your community, they will track you down. And this is human being for you. If animal can help a fellow animal to regain its freedom, ask yourself, this idiot that we are going to speak about them today because they want to be popular and we are going to help them. Are they thinking at all? What they are doing is it? I mean, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to phantom the reason why these people are busy trying to drag Mazen Nam the camel down. Why a tortoise is helping a fellow tortoise to wake up and to keep moving, to, to survive. But a fellow animal, help a fellow animal, but a human being that God created is dragging his own people down. There have been a lot of killings in Biafra land. Our people are being massacred left, right, and center. Our women are being raped. Our farmland are being destroyed. This idiot, these charlatans that I were going to talk about them this night have never, ever, 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 ever protested, not even holding a program on the Facebook to speak against the killing of their own mother and raping of their own sisters. The kidnapping of their own people, they have not talked about it. They have never held any kind of should I say a, a, a protest against the killing of their own people? They did not do that. But they now went ahead to organize themselves, sponsored by the governors from the eastern region, sponsored by the Uchemefo, 4 Asari Dokubo, and cohorts, just to drag one person down. And this one person they want to drag down is the only man that cares about the well-being of our people from the old eastern region known as Biafra land. The only man that cares about you, the only man that is interested in your well-being, the only man that have said no to the danger way that have come to conquer us. They have paid our own brothers to drag him down. And we are telling you that the, the one million of them no reach anything. I do not want to continue mentioning their names because they are irrelevant. But on this platform, we are going to dissect them and we're going to watch them claim because they have chosen to throw on that path of destruction. So we are going to help them because I know that what we are doing right now is justice. Humanity is going to speak about these people and from our analysis here, the world is going to know the kind of people we have and the reason why they are doing what they are doing. I'm going to expose a lot this evening on this platform. And on this, we are going to discuss about it and I want us also I'm going to play the voice of this same idiot. I don't know. I don't need to mention his name here on this hallowed platform. But this same idiot that went to Abuja to visit the United Kingdom uh, amb uh, ambassador to complain and asking that Mazen Nandikani should be extradited. I'm going to play his voice for people to know that this idiot is hungry. I've told the world that the reason why they are doing what they are doing is because of hunger and starvation. The, 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 the full and gender weed have impoverished us to the extent that our people doesn't have common sense anymore. They have underdeveloped our, 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 our region. They have done a lot of damages in our well-being. That is why some people are hungry to the extent that they can even kill their own brothers to get something to eat. They can sell their own father to get something to eat. They can sell their own mother to get something to eat. This idiot was begging for Mazen Nam Dekano to join, for him to join uh, 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 IPOB volunteers. 
and nobody gave him listening ear because first and foremost he went and so and he went and joined the islam in the north i have the pictorial evidences of everything i'm going to talk about here and i'm going to show them one after the other this idiot that went to abuja was begging mazen namdekano crying that mazen namdekano should forgive him he called mazen namdekano my father he said mazen namdekano happened to be his own father that is a man that is fighting for us that is a noble man that is a good man after castigating Mazen Nandekanu, collecting money from IPOB all over the world, calling Nigeria Zoo, saying that he's going to fight Nigeria, he's going to do this, that he's a general. After all that, nobody listened to this idiot. And this idiot went ahead to join the gang, the, 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 the wagon of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the idiots that want all of us dead. They have given him 50,000. It was 50,000 that was given to this idiot too. 50,000 Naira for your information. For all this nonsense you see, see them doing, but they have never come up to do anything in, in support of, uh, I mean, in, in, to protest against the killing of their own people inside Biafra land. Our people are being raped. Our women are being killed. A womb of a Biafra girl was removed because they raped her. They destroyed her life. This idiot did not, cannot even protest about it, cannot even talk about it, but they have the effront, the nerves to go to Abuja and they circle themselves. How many of them? They are not even up to 10. They are not even up to 10. Even the people that are sponsoring, they cannot even pay them. 50-50K, that is what is given to, to the leaders. And those that are following them, I don't know how much they gave them for them to say their own brother. 50,000 Naira. And look at what is happening. A tortoise helped a fellow tortoise to stand up and move, but a woman being whom the, whose, whose house is on, on fire and somebody is trying to quench that fire now they are trying to fight the person that is quenching the fire and about it that is why we are bringing this program to you and we are going to talk about the mirage ogoni clean up proposal the Ogoni clean up proposal, which they have promised our people from the river, from the coastal region of Biafra, that they are going to clean Ogoni, Ogoni land. We are going to speak about it extensively this night. We are going to look into that proposal of Ogoni clean up and the damages that Shell BP and all the oil companies in Nigeria have, have done in the river area in the life of our people. The, to the, the toxins that they have, that, 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 that have, that have spread in the, uh, in the air that our people are breathing. They are inhaling them and dying. They are water that have been that that, that 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 has been that has been destroyed completely, and our land that has been destroyed. We are going to speak about them, and they propose to us they are going to clean Ogoni land up to today. Nothing is done. So these are the two topic, very very interesting topic that I want us to discuss about. And before we go further, I want to bring Mazi uh, Ikem Patrick to you know give his own. A contribution and whatever you have to say in regards to the first topic, which is about this idiot that went to Abuja uh, saying that they are submitted letter for Mazen and to be extradited. After that, uh, Mazi Solomon will join and the starry name will come in. Then we continue. Thank you very much, my brothers and my sisters. Go ahead, Mazi Kim. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mazi Chikubi Kim. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. And um, well, you brought up this topic. Uh, we brought it up and uh, we just have to talk about it. Not because, um, because they are important or they are that relevant. We are talking about it so that our people can see through the mind of, you know, humans. And when you look at the tortoise helping his fellow tortoise or the brother or sister, how can you compare a smart, a very smart animal to stupid human beings? Don't you know that there are animals that are smarter than humans? You know, and um, when, when you see the action of the tortoise, you will know that some animals are smarter than people who are supposedly regarded as humans because there are humans who are more more stupid than animals and it's not just the 30 we've also seen even uh, dogs and cats different animals helping each other in different occasions uh there was um, a documentary i was watching the other day 
and in America, in Houston, in Houston, they were hunting for pigs. And somebody built a cage uh, for the, to, trap, to trap pigs. So when this pig run into the cage, the cage was automatically closed. And what does the pig of the pig? Um, the pig climbed at the back of the top of the jump from the cage. You know, I was I can hear there is echo on the background. I don't know how our viewers are feeling about that. Uh, so if you can please uh, mute the the okay. volume. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, continue, continue. Yes, so on the issue of the charlatans that went to Abuja with a petition uh, to submit to the British Embassy, do you know how many petitions IPOB have submitted all over the world against Nigerian government? I have protested all over Italy. We have protested all over Europe. We have petitioned Nigerian government from every ministry. IPOB have been petitions to British embassy, German, all the high commissions in uh, in Nigeria in Abuja, complaining about what our people, you know, have been facing: the killing of Fulani headsmen. The, you know, so uh, people taking petition to Abuja British embassy. I mean, it's, uh, it's completely nothing because we have been there before. You know, so anybody who is going to British Embassy to tell British Embassy to extradite the leader of, uh, leader of uh, IPOB, Mazin Nambekano, is in fact, the Nigerian government will be looking at them as, uh, uh, because even the Nigerian government themselves have, uh, have done everything they could, if it was possible, if it was possible for the extradition of Mazen Nam the Kano to happen. It is not by these idiots. It is not by their uh, going to embassy to embarrass themselves. Because if the, the uh, tradition of Mazen Nam the Kano was something that is easy or possible, Nigerian government have the resources to go mm -hmm. about it. You know, so when you even say when you even say that they have given them money. And, you know, it makes me laugh because nobody has given them anything. What they are looking for is sponsorship. I can tell you. I can tell you for free. You know, you know because, listen, listen, Mazin, I can tell you for free uh, because I, I live in Nigeria and I grew up understanding the business behind every business. I have lived in Nigeria and I understand the business behind every business. You see people take advantage of the suffering of other people, you know, to, to gain attention. So what they are doing is to gain attention, to see, because recently the other one that was deported from Turkey have also gone to register with APC. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's, he's putting all his best to see if he can draw attention and see if they can gain that kind of uh, sponsorship. Uh, when you even look at the people they paraded that were carrying placards, these are a bunch of uh, street urchins, possibly hawkers, people that were selling granite, pure water on the street. Maybe they offer them like five, five hundred, organize and give them placard. I mean, if you are selling pure water and somebody offer you like five hundred to come and start for like for like ten minutes, I mean that will save you some, um, you know, some money. So when you see they were able to gather the number they could, you know, mobilize and pay for. But I don't think that Nigerian government even because if the Nigerian government have the capacity to extradite Mazin Nam the Kano, they don't need these people to go tender uh, uh, oh. petition at the, you know because I mean, uh, and if even the British government themselves knows that uh, the extradition of Mazin Nam the Kano is not possible because he hasn't committed any crime. If Mazin Nam the Kano have had any case whatsoever, he would have been sent back to Nigeria. Of course. Of course. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Thank you so much, uh, Mazi Patrick. He came, uh, and I'm coming to you live and direct, Mazi Peter. Please go ahead, Mazi Solomon Peter. Go ahead and unmute your system and speak to the world. Go ahead, brother. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much um, for bringing me in at this time. Um, um, okay, I will go straight to the point of having seen some few group of people uh, going to the High Commissioner, uh, British High Commission uh, at Abuja to um, say they are submitting petitions or they are submitting letter for uh, the British to bring Mazin and the Kano back to Nigeria. Actually, the question that I will be asking here is this. Did, are they thinking that British government or the High Commissioner at Abuja is waiting for their protest or is waiting for their letter to deport Mazin Nandekanu or to bring Mazin Nandekanu back to Nigeria? Um, that is the question I will be asking them. Are they thinking that uh, they are waiting for their protest to do that? Or they are waiting for their letter? So, um, to on my very end, to be honest with you, if they hurt, now so we they talk them. Um. If, so, if it's not because it is you that raised this topic, I can never discuss it all my life. Because it is a total failure. It is a total failure. And the, I can say at my end, it's just because they are not creative enough. They don't even know what they should be doing at this very particular time. It is a way of people making, uh, making uh, 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 foolish of themselves, fooling themselves. It's a way of people fooling themselves. It's a way of people trying to, to show to the, uh, to the viewers, to the world. In one hand, they are showing that there is nothing we, there's nothing we can do. That is number one. And in the other way, again, as Mazepat has touched it, is that as you also touched it early, to say that these people, they are being paid. So they actually, they actually wanted food on their table because there is a lot of hunger in Nigeria. And this is what we are crying about our people. Our people are dying for the poverty that Nigeria has inflicted upon them no source of income joblessness everywhere we are having the greatest number of jobless youth who are doing nothing and this is an evidence the the, the activities of uh, these guys is an evidence that men who should be working hard are jobless that is what that the activities is all about i am not here to call their name Included, if you are included, do Chemofo in that very activities, or included Astrid Dokubo in that very activities, that is a result of their previous activities against the indigenous people of Biafra. And I want to explain something here. Indigenous people of Biafra is not about Mazin Nandikanu. No. Now, indigenous people of Biafra is not about any singular individual is all about us it's all about our survival it's all about our race very very important and the once it is connected to all of us once it is involved all of us that what it means that simply any action you take against the indigenous people of biafra or any action you took against the agitators for the freedom of Biafran nation, then you are taking that action against everybody who is involved. You are taking that action against everybody. So people coming to narrow down the agitation for restoration of Biafra to Mazin Nandekanu, anybody X could have been in that position of Mazin Nandekanu if you are choosing to be there. That is just the truth. And the Mazin Nandikanu is there because if you bring it into uh, if you bring it into um, uh, democracy or into politics, it is a game of number. You you have the chance. You have the same time, the same twenty four hours that is allocated to Mazin Nandikanu was allocated to you. 
how did you invest your own time to have the number of people who could stood at your back and endorse you as their leader if it is in a in a game of politics and you don't have the number for you to be installed as a local government chairman or the numbers for you to be held as the governor of a state then how can you become the governor of a state or the councillor or even the president without the the high number of vote mazin nande kano has the uh, has his people behind him mazin nande kano has biafran behind him he has the number and the, he has shown it through action that most time whatever mazin nande kano say we are wherever he is whether in America, whether in Europe, whether in the Middle East, anywhere he is, whenever he says things, it will be happening in Biafra land. That shows that he has the mandate of the people. He has the mandate of the people. So he's not there for you to look at him and say, uh, you, you want to cram down Mazin Nandekanu. No. Whenever you go against Mazin Nandekanu, as he stands today, you are going against the people. You of are course. going against your people. That is definite. So we are not here to defend Mazin Nandekano as a person, but we are here to defend Mazin Nandekano as a leader of indigenous people. And that is what they should know. And I also want to send my own letter to them and take my agitation to them that British uh, High Commission are not waiting for their protest or waiting for their letter to deport Mazin Nandekano. So any effort on that very direction it is a sponsor to failure. Thank you, Mazi. Uh, um, uh, she became. Mazi, I would like you before Mazi, before you bring in Tari Nemi, there is something I want to point out. Very, very important. Very, very important. And uh, it's very, very important that we take a look at. Um, we take a look at this point, this aspect. Um, you know, there are people who knows how to. You know, gain relevance. They just need that attention because they know that at this point in time, anything that has to do with Mazen Namdekano is trending. And if, for example, if, for example, I, I am in Biafra land and, you know, I'm on the other side, it is a very big business for me to have also see how I can mobilize people. Uh, to speak against Mazen Namdekan, hoping that maybe one politician or maybe Nigerian government would, you know, uh, you know, also compensate me as well. You know, so most of the time, these people rally around, they raise small money of their own, transport themselves, do all the mobilization on their own, even with their own money, hoping that that money they have invested in this project of uh, you know, fighting against Mazen Nandekano will be compensated in due course. You know, that the, the government do not need to pay these people because they, if the government have to pay, they will pay international lawyers to start the process of the repatriation. I mean, no, no, the politicians you have in Nigeria are very smart people. These people are, they, they are nobody. You understand what I'm saying? If the extradition of Mazin Nandekano is a viable enterprise, if it is a viable business, if it is something possible for the Nigerian government, they know how to go about it. They have, they have global syndicates, they have global attorneys, they have global links and connection to carry out this process. You know, so these people that you see, are trying to draw attention and see if they could also walk themselves into that angle where they can say, oh, man, see these people are protesting, you know, maybe we'll find something for them. You know, so we just have to, you know, accept that this is the reality on the ground. Okay, uh, thank you so much, my brother. Uh, I want you to know that uh, when I started addressing these people, I called them charlatans. And we all know the meaning of charlatans. They are not worth of any, they don't want anything, we know. And we know that they don't even have capacity to move a motion that the government will even listen to. But I must tell you that they were paid. 
to do this because they don't have the contacts. They don't have the, 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 the they're supposed to collect a written note, maybe from a, 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 a inspector, a general police office or whatever, to go close to that place where they submitted that letter, bros. I don't really understand what I'm saying. So there is a hand, there is a hand that I have pushed them, that I have triggered them, that I've told them to, okay, we have the contact, don't worry, come. Look at this idiot that I'm going to play his voice right now. This idiot that I'm going to play his voice right now. Even the way he, he, he was even speaking, when you listen to him, you will know that he's a stack illiterate. He doesn't have anything upstairs. That guy has nothing upstairs. I don't want to mention his name, and I'm, I will try as much as I can not to mention his name on this platform because his name is thinking. My brother, if you tell me that these guys put themselves together and go to British Embassy and door was open for them and they walked in and came out, my brother is not rude. I will debate it with you. Somebody in the government of Nigeria supported them and sponsored them and money was given to them. I have a direct information. Don't, don't argue it. That somebody gave them money and the people who organized them from the grassroots, Uche Mefo is involved, Asari Tokumbo is involved, Uwazirike is involved, and the governor from the Eastern region, the one you call Hope, who's a, who's a ninja, is involved. Their main sponsor is the governor of a boy state. Their major sponsor, the biggest sponsor of this idiot, these charlatans, is Devil Omahi. Devil Omahi is the one paying for let me not go deep on, on on that aspect let me just focus on this particular topic we're discussing please uh, our people as we are watching we are dissecting this whole issue this whole this whole uh, shenanigans but we have to address you have to watch them because there's no how charters like them who are not known in the government who doesn't even have any pedigree nothing to, to, to show can just walk into a british uh, 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 embassy and say that submitting letter for the he, he, for mass, a whole massive man can to be extradited when Nigeria government couldn't do it, and you tell me that nobody sponsored them, somebody sponsored them, bro. And I want our brother Mazitari Nemi to come and join us. Mazitari Nemi, if you are listening to the sound of my voice, please uh, unmute your system and speak to the world in regards to this topic we are talking about right now. Go ahead, please, bro brother. Tari Nemi, are you still listening? Tari Nemi, are you listening? Is he there? I think uh, Mazi Tari Nemi is not there. Oh, it's not, it's not with us. It's not with us. Now, Mazi, I, I have one or two questions to ask you. I'll ask you one question and I'll ask Mazi Solomon one question. Then before I'll play the voice of the idiot so that those people that are paying them, that are sponsoring them, may see the chameleon in him, may see the chameleon in them. You, you understand what I mean? You know, we, we keep record. We keep record in my archive i have records that when you come out to do the other side i will show you the other side of you that the world may know how stupid you are so the question i want to ask is this talking about extraditing mazen namdekanu we all know that these charlatans doesn't have the nerves they don't have the contact they don't even have the pedigree to speak about it they don't have it we know now talking about nigeria government do you think that the nigeria government have not tried everything they can do to bring Mazen and the Canada and all failed. Do you think what do you what is that? What you say? What is that? If I were to be in a position of authority or as a governor, as a politician, I cannot go and contract this idiot to go and protest for me. For you see, when I tell you that. I, I, the, the, the evil politicians, all these governments, are, these are not stupid people. They know that this, how can you go and carry your money and give to these people that went to the embassy? To, I mean, Mazi, you see, when I, I know what I'm saying. Even if even you, I say, if you were a governor, will you give your money to this idiot to go and protest for you? I'm asking you. I can't. No, I mean... But so these are the things. These are the things. Mazi, if you Mazi, tell me, if you tell me, listen, if you tell me, excuse me, hold on, listen, no, hold on, hold on yes, one minute. If you tell said, me, listen, Mazi, if you tell wait. me that maybe somebody like, listen, if you tell me that somebody like Owazuri can mobilize them, 
or maybe Asari Dokubo Mobi. I can understand. I can maybe they give them transport money, maybe they give them some deposit, give them money to hire all these pure water sellers, you know, small, small money, give them, maybe they don't go shy. I can understand. But no reasonable politician would bring these resources to give to who? These are a bunch of nuisance. These people are not relevant. The politician knows what to do if they want Mazinam, they can extra my tech. You understand what I'm saying? There, there is a process that will be followed. And if the uh, tradition of Mazinam the Kano is a viable venture, this extradition would have happened a long time ago. They have tried, the Nigerian government have tried everything possible within its power to do the extradition, but it is not possible. If you cannot convict a man in your own court, in your own local court, mm -hmm. how can you convince the international community that he has a crime against that you, you cannot even prove your crime against this person? Look, for two years you were dragging the case off and down, uh, back and forth. You were not even you were you've not even given the defendant the opportunity to even defend himself. They didn't they didn't even allow Mazin and the Kanu case to be debated in court. They were oh, playing oh. hanky, right. hanky panky, and the time was going. You understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. Right. As much as we understand that there is a conspiracy against Biafrans all over the world, we understand that the world is not giving our agitation attention. But the truth is that the world knows the truth. The world will not want to put itself in a mess called Nigeria. You know, so they, the world will not want to put itself in a mess that has to do with Biafra and Nigerian issue. If you cannot debate Mazin and the Kano case in court and bring out your evidence, you will charge a man for terrorism and for two years you are not able to produce evidence. Now, which evidence are you taking to the world for his extradition? You know, so these people who went to the to the embassy, yes, there could be some level of mobilization because I know they are jobless. The one that was deported haven't gotten a job. Uh, the other one, uh, you know, have, so maybe somebody must have given them transport money. They will, you know, <laughs> moving from, uh, you know, to go to Abuja, maybe with uh, very little money also to get some pure water granola sellers on the street. Because when you even look at those uh, people holding placards, how did they come to Abuja? Were they transported from the eastern region to Abuja? Or were they met? Are they Igbos, Igbo traders? And none of those uh, people carrying placards even spoke to the camera to say, this is who we are. I am an evil person. I am, this is where I come from. The identity, in the fact, they were able to, they were able to use the placard to cover their faces. You know, so for me, for me, for, yeah, so for me, you saying that politicians contracted them is making them even, they will even be happy to hear it. Because they know that no politician will pay. They will, you are even promoting them. You are giving I, I, them a, the, I understand. You are giving them a from undeserved publicity. I you understand. understand? Because if, I'm, if, if, I, if I'm a politician, I wouldn't put my money in this type of a project when you know that uh, it is completely uh, a failure. These the, the people do not have... Even if the politicians want to mobilize people, they will mobilize people that have what it takes to do the job, not these uh, street urchins who went to the embassy and uh, embarrassed themselves. You're right, you're right. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for your contribution to us that I also know that it's a dirty job. It's not everybody that would like to come out to do that. Do you understand what I mean? That is why the sponsors pay them. Because they, all those people that are covering their faces, they can't show their face because they know they're dealing, it's, it's very dangerous work. No, it's not everybody that can accept it. So let me hear from Mazi, uh, Mazi Solomon. If you have something to say before I play the voice of the idiot that said he is the convener and he called himself the uh, what did he call himself? He said the leader of the youth or whatever, whatever, whatever uh, of Nigeria. I don't even know the title he gave himself. The uh, the hungry idiot from Moro. go ahead and speak to us, brother. Uh, thank you so much. Um, 
uh, Mazi Pat is here. I always uh, work closer with him uh, in most of the activities on the media here. He's the type who normally send me that kind of video. And uh, <laughs> the way I, I used to um, talk back to Mazi Pat, if he sent me that kind of video to watch, <laughs> he knows um, that uh, I'm a kind of person who uh, doesn't give an attention to something that is not important, you know? I know that those activities of those guys are not important, but um, I can say that um, there is no side in this life. Hunger cannot face you, cannot push you. If you are a hungry man, hunger can push you to any even to any kind of things you no know, hunger can push people to eat from those beans hunger is is one of the um, uh, it's one of the instruments that i see that can mesterialize anybody up at any time remember at the time yeah. when satan have an opportunity to tempt uh, um, our lord jesus christ according to the history was when he was hungry when he's hungry 40 days, 40 nights, and then Satan draw near. So by that time, Satan was thinking that everything is valuable for Jesus. He said, make bread to turn uh, uh, stone to bread. He began to attempt him because he's hungry. That is how hungry people fall victims of circumstances. So these very guys that we are discussing about here, I can tell you, um you, you know we are running a program and uh, uh, several times i've called mazipat and i've told mazipat even when they are jumping up at turkey or when that one because the other one the last time i saw him was when uh, when he was in the creek when i don't know if you want to commit suicide in the water or whatever uh, you know that was the last time i saw him another time is that he is going to abuja to protest for mazip do you know they don't know who they are talking about they don't know who they are talking about. They are talking about of Odoku Biafra. We are talking about Ohamadike, one of Biafra. We are talking about the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Yes, you know, is. we are talking about a man, a man who was fearless even in Nigerian court to tell them the truth. A man who is fearless on the ground when they gave him a bell condition. And uh, it, it, it become a child play for him. This is a man that Nigerian army were not able to track down in his house. This is the man they are talking about. This is the man that they have not, these people who came to uh, agitate, they have not come to analyze or to find out how did he left Nigeria. In the first place at the time they come to kill him. How? So... This, all these uh, people that we are mentoring here, to me, I have a very cold spirit of talking about them because I don't give attention. There are similar things and a similar attitude, but all that they are doing is that, you know, now uh, the uh, internet is raining and the YouTube is paying people some money. So they are struggling, like the one deported from uh, Turkey, struggling by all means to see if he can be getting uh, those $50 from YouTube. And uh, again, he is the kind of person who, because I have lived and I come across his type of people, that you know, so I know his type. The type of people they use mouth to destroy, they use mouth to bring things down, and they try to, to convince people that they can do nothing. But when you give it into their hands and say he, he was in Turkey boasting that if he finds himself in Nigeria, he will take grinding machine that as you who are talking about the politicians sponsoring them. He was boasting that if he eventually see the money of the politicians, that he's going to grind everybody into grinding machine. And this is the same person. He has been in that very Nigeria. He has never been able to take grinding machine to the place where he says. So he's a kind of person, he promises followers things and he doesn't follow it up. He doesn't even do it. He will like to do the soft one, coming to stay in one room to talk and they insult people and they, and they call people names and they fool himself. But now he's, he's taking uh, Blackout to, black to uh, 
high commission there to just fool himself. But the hard job he promised his people, he promised his followers that he's going to he's going to grand grand IPOP members into a uh, grinding machine and all these things. Then he has not done the hard job. He hasn't done the hard job. <laughs> Can you get it? And the, if you are here to claim that uh, politicians are giving him money, these followers and the people who are watching him, telling him, they should ask him, the, what about what you promise us at Turkey? That once your leg touch that Nigeria, let him see the money of the, poli of the politicians that IPOP is gonna. He promised his people in while he was in Turkey that he's going to destroy IPOP in Turkey. And this group should be asking him question: why is the IPOP still existing in Turkey? You didn't destroy them, then you were packaged like uh, like Mangi back to Sadi. Nigeria, or like Sadin back to Nigeria, <laughs> and you did not fulfill the promise you make to people that you are going to close down IPOP, you are going to send all the IPOP in Turkey to jail. You make all that promises, even when he was when he was like the 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 the, uh, the rat that is put into trap in the in the cell there. He was still promising them, uh, "It's a minor thing. I'm going to sort it out." And and the people who are following him have not asked him, "Man, why you haven't sort out these things you promised us? Why you are there like a rat that is caught into trap?" You know, you say, I'm going to sort it out. It's just a minor thing. My atomy is doing this. Where is his atomy? And he was packaged like three atomies. Three atomies. Three atomies. Three atomies. Where is your atomies? You know, somebody inventioning in impossible, in an impossible journey. There is human are not by your side. God is not by your side. Nation is not by your side. Even the politicians you are attaching to him, they are not by his side. But he's just trying to convince people so that they can be getting $50 from YouTube. That is just the work he's doing. Because if anybody is following him, why this guy has not fulfilled the promises he made to his, to his followers? Every time he will come and tell them everything he tell them, he never fulfill it. He tell them, uh, have you asked them how I come, they, they, they sent me to Abuja. He was not even happy that people pay for his flight ticket to come back to Nigeria. Uh, but he was telling them uh, they, they they paid the ticket for me to go to uh, Lagos. Do you think do you uh, uh, do you think on how I come to Abuja? Oh, that is what we should be sitting down here thinking of how you're supposed to land in Lagos and you landed in Abuja. What meaning does it add to anyone? Is that the promise you promised your followers that you are going to uh, sort the problem? The atomy is talking. You see. Is that the promise you promise your followers that once your leg touch uh, Nigeria, I, IPOP is gone, and the IPOP is still existing? You haven't granted them. So, Marzi, Marzi, my, the, I, I have said it before and I'm saying it again that the only person who can bring me into this very topic uh, is you <laughs> to say it uh, because I know these people are total failure and the, who they are talking about they should reconsider again that they are talking about the man of the people that they are talking about the uh, the ohamadike of biafra land that they are talking about they are not it's not just as ordinary people or a tout in the street that they are talking about they are talking about a man of his people the man that has the support of his people they, that is who they are talking about. They are talking about the man that Nigeria tried and fell. The man that Niger the Nigerian army tried in his house and failed. The man that Nigeria has not been able to explain on how Mazen Nandekano walk from uh, Biafran land and appear in Israel. They have never given an explanation to that. Then if they have not been able to explain all these processes, how could they uh, have the power to... Bring Matt, him back. Even, the, yeah. even the deputy confirmed of BBC that even him, the deputy, didn't know how he, he managed to disappear from <laughs> Delphan to, to Israel. You know, so but but the, the truth of the matter, the truth of the matter is that uh if I were uh Marzi, if I were to be deported the way the guy in Turkey was deported, I will also carry placa because. You know, it is very, very painful to to have been moved from your um, from your from your comfort zone, return back to such a harsh to such a harsh environment, mm -hmm. 
where the <laughs> sun hits you the power said here. Nobody will be in his position. I will not protest with placard in Abuja. So I don't blame him. <laughs> This guy is, uh, <laughs> I say, as in the hot <laughs> when I go back out. I know, I know that our people that are watching they understand the whole code because we don't need to mention anybody's name here. <laughs> but the person we are talking about know himself and be friends all over the world. Know the idiot we are talking about because his name is not worthy to be mentioned here. That is why we are saying it in the way it is. You know, that's what I mean. So, Mazi, I understand all you people have said here and I concur with you. I don't need to argue with you. There is something I want to point out. There is something I want to point out. It, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. it was not even IPOB in Turkey or IPOB all over the world that deported him. That is the, the most interesting part of it. It was just a, a single individual that bought ticket for him, asked the Turkish government to send him back, and they did. So if IPOB had even gotten time to say, okay, let us contribute money to face him, do you know what that would cost? Maybe by now he wouldn't have been existing. He took just one, he took just a single IPOB member to meet the IPOB Turkish should, should, government should come to and say, this guy is IPOB is fighting against him. I think he's trying to get back. And, so, uh, you know, you and work, the party, you, you will be you saying, Mazi party, you will also be saying, how come, how come now he left the battle he was fighting at Turkey? Have he accepted defeat? Because he has to tell us, have he been defeated? Because he's telling the people in the Turkey, he's going to destroy them. All of them will go to jail. Even when they are approaching him to come down, even then when they are, because I noticed him in one of the mall where some Biafrans are going and he was boasting to the Biafrans that very soon, all of you will not be seen. Have he now accepted defeat that he, he, he felt in that very battle? Because he should be apologizing to his uh, all his followers that actually, I'm sorry, I fell in that one battle. And somebody who has been a failure from the beginning is now coming to promise you victory that he, through his demonst demonstrations or through his activities, he can bring back the Odogu one of uh, Biafra. <laughs> Odogu, okay. Uh, we can say that... Uh, uh, Jesus walk upon 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 the upon the sea, and the man and the can have done the same, and it's the same man that he is talking about that he want to bring back, or oh, like uh, he, he think that it is a toothpick that is manufactured in uh, manufactured in uh, in Chinese uh, in one of the companies are Chinese that is going to exp uh, uh, import for them. So these people, if they are watching this very program. Every one of them should understand that at this very time that we are in now, you need to examine your activities properly, or else you will be dancing in the in in the territory of the enemy. You will be dancing in a space where very soon you are going to be consumed by yourself. By yourself, you are dancing in the territory. You are taking the journey of no return. So everybody should examine his activities because. We are all of us are on this. Okay. You need to understand. And okay. the, our mission is to free him and the free others who are being trapped in Nigeria. Nigeria is the reason why his life is the way that he is. Nandi Kano is not yes, the God. reason. That he, he took a uh, material high sea to cross to Europe is not by Nandi Kano making. He is not buying land can kind of making. That he doesn't have job in Nigeria today. They don't have job because these people they should be busy in the factory by now. These people should they, they should be busy in the factory or busy somewhere, aiming some little money. You know, even have time to get married and uh, raising up kids. That should be the stage where these guys are, are now. But it's not land can kind of who put them in that very condition. You know, agarapu isi agarapi kenyulara ne kesi opo. They should understand that IPOP is not the reason why Nigeria, Ni Nigeria is not providing job to the youth. IPOP is not the reason why uh, is not the reason why where there is no infrastructure in Nigeria. That they should face Nigerian system that has made such situation available to them. 
that he's living in one room in Abuja, uh, rented or helped him to uh, be rented by one Aboki, Aboki who is selling sugarcane in Abuja there. It's, it's not the, by the making of Mars in Nandekano. It was not by the proposal of Mars in Nandekano. It is by Nigerian system. It is Nigerian system who put him in that very situation. So everybody should know why they are suffering and why the reason of the problem where they are going through so yeah. you will not be living uh, so that you will not be leaving people who cause your problem and facing people who are trying to fight for your liberation thank you Marcy. thank you um now please permit me i want to play a voice note of that urchin that says the president of uh, Igbo youth home and abroad <laughs> The president of Ibo YouTube and that brother. <laughs> the hungry, the hungry idiot. I have to do it so that people will know why we are speaking and talking the way we are talking. Please, I want you to listen. I took my ticket on your morning. Oh, do be told you. You know, stay. Do humbly apologize to our beloved leader and our most admired leader, Martin Mambukano. I am on my knees with tears in my eyes. I beg you to please, please, for the sake of Chico to Kabiyama, please, for the sake of the earth, to move to you. Please, for the sake of the good days, the good times we share. Please, for the sake of battery. Beloved, I pay the number, especially those who are in this place, who are in this terrible company called Nigeria, <laughs> or Mega Area. Please. My brother, my brother, I beg, I beg. I go now where? Mazi, Mazi, I go now where, Abba? Mazi, because I go. Because they will leave. If hunger, if hunger torture you, if hunger torture you, I don't know if you have experienced hunger. Oh, well, uh, there is a kind of hunger our people our people are calling Agu Oboshinti. The one that brother, when it's worrying you, all your bones will be dislocated. All your bones will be, all your hand, both your hand, your head. When, when you see... <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm the kind of hunger that when it's wiring you, when that hunger is wiring you, when you see road, you will enter bush. That is the kind of hunger that is actually beating this very young <laughs> man that you are <laughs> playing his voice. He's an ugly <laughs> man. You are killing me here, Mazi Solomon, please. I have never laughed like this in my program before, I swear. <laughs> please, I want hungry. to, I want to. Yes, I know that please, type. I know please, that I want type. to. I want I want to finish i want to finish this is apology please permit me to finish this apology because the reason why i'm playing it so that those people that that watch that thing that uh, the dance of the uh Kurukere dance they did in abuja when they listen to this voice they will be able to know the kind of person that that idiot is that is not uh, even Mazi, 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 i would also suggest that we put that clip in a petition to the british embassy you know, because it's very very important we also forward this clip to the embassy so that they will be on, they will be able to understand the mind of the petitioner. You know, so that the because British embassy will be able to hunger is not good. Uh, Terry is here. <laughs> Um, maybe you have to give him opportunity because he's please. suffering for network, uh, yes. Nigerian network. Uh, because the voice yes, of this say. guy, <laughs> the voice of this guy is very long <laughs> because he, he took time. He took his time. Yeah, he took his time. And uh, I'm not playing. Not playing the full version, the whole version. I'm playing okay. 
uh, the version where he was apologizing. Then after that, then but I want Tari Nemi to to make contribution to the program before we move forward. Please, Tari Nemi, you have the you have the podium. Please speak to us. Speak to your friends, please. <laughs> I, oh my God, go ahead, bro. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I hope um, I'm coming out loud. I hope everyone can hear me. Yes, everybody's hearing you, my brother. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, concerning this case, though the usual me, I do not like giving attention to people that do not matter one way or the other. The fact is that these people that gather themselves to do all these things they have done these things so that we'll talk about them because if we do not talk about them we can't hear you again terry what is happening terry are you still there terry nemi are you still there Oh my God, his network is I very, very bad. I think he's having difficulties, but you can always let him in anytime he... He comes uh, back. He, yeah, he puts himself. Well, uh, Mazi, for me, uh, bringing <laughs> this issue here, yes, you, you've insisted you want to talk about it. Uh, yes. that, is why, uh, that is why I'm even adding voice to it. But for me, ordinarily, we've all seen... And everybody knows, everybody knows that these are not normal people. Uh, they have a psychological problem. And when you look at the activities of this young man, uh, uh, even when IPOB was contributing money, because he was the first person to say he wanted to set up a Biafran, uh, BSMS, Biafran something army, you know. And our uh, people poured so much money into his hands. In fact, yes. uh, I we have uh, I have a sister here in Italy that gave you know almost everything she had, including accommodation, to see that he is secured. And at some point, he even faked his own arrest. You know, he faked his own arrest. Uh, you know, there was this partner he had at the time. That one came out to say he was arrested by DSS. And through that fake arrest, he was also to pull, he was able to also pull in a lot of funding uh, through that fake arrest. Uh, you know, because a lot of IPOB members felt he was, you know, uh, fighting. He promised he was going to set up a Biafran army, a special Biafran military squad, and all that. People contributed to him. And up to today, when you look at him, you can't even see the side of the, you know, of all this money that we have contributed to him on his body. He has still, he hasn't still shown anything for it. And I believe that many of the people who we are contributing to him, you know, are not people who have access, much of that access or interest in the media. Ordinarily, many of them are supposed to be coming out by now to ask for their money back, you know. Unfortunately, but I hope that our people who contributed to him will start asking for the return of their money back because he hasn't even been able to um, um, execute, you know, the purpose in which the, all the money we are giving to him. So I think that their friends all over the world who have contributed to the B, to his BSMS should be asking for return on their investment. Now, Mazipat, you need to understand the failure that that guy has in his own activity in the first place when you see him uh when you see him in those programs actually he's not coming as he wanted to work for biafra or to form any any force you know i've been watching those shows when you are when you are sending it to me i said i, I always say to you that this is um uh in Golo, in Golo na Niger marathon you know uh, uh you know because when you looked at those activities, you will know he's not real. 
you know, even at that time. And the, the apology that Mars is trying to show here, what that apology means, are these are a group of people who has the mindset that Biafran struggle is about making money. He's just like, nan de kanu pikonu, tinye munolo, tinye muni hene eme. You know, <laughs> they, they are the kind people. of people who has that kind of mindset of uchemofo. It's like, tinye muni hene eme, kan lachava piom, kan wake, you know, yes, grabbing money. <laughs> Please, I want to I want to play that voice finish. Allow me, please. I have my reason. There are some points that this guy made in that his apology that I want uh, Mazi Patrick. Uh, in short, I'm going to lead. I'm going to lead uh, the squad that is going to present this voice to <laughs> British Embassy <laughs> in Abuja. We are going to <laughs> it is it will be the, well, it is the duty of Tari Nemi to do the need for all the right. need to have the African rep. All you need to do is to put that clip together and send to the British Embassy. And you don't even need to write much. Uh, you know, so I think that clip is enough for the African rep. And that is why it would have been important that he's here to compile that uh, and he forward to the British Embassy. He's uh, listening. For... He's listening. He's listening. Let me play the voice, please. Yeah. Please permit, permit me to play the voice. I want to play the voice. Please. Let me finish the, playing the voice. I took my ticket on your morning. Oh, you must do humbly apologize to our beloved leader, our most admired leader, Martin Nambucano. I am on my knees. With tears in my eyes, I beg you to please, please for the sake of Chibuki Kabrama, please for the sake of the oath we've taken, please for the sake of the good days, the good times we shared, please for the sake of our beloved IPOB members, especially. Who are the most terrible company called Nigeria? Or area? Please, Adrinda, senior brother, I'm sure of what to say. Please find it in your heart somewhere to forgive me. Also forget my actions. I deeply regret my speech, and I ask you to find a way in your heart. I want to find a way at the bottom of your heart to forgive me. To have me back. Like the prodigal son was received by his father. Like a prodigal son. Me, okay. My father, Mazen Abdikano. I know when you hear my voice, you will recognize me that it is I that is speaking. Because of what I'm doing, I'm going to go to my Nine <laughs> And I must Maraga do become Mara 
Juko baral. Juko ala na yo ay duo duo duwaite. Ma wote ma wana. Mukroda ma bogo. Kena na ay duo duo. Worldwide. E kuto la munu. E mejo la munu. E tiza bogo mke e pe munu. Malano masuru. Mbara. Ni na muna mne ya dhigu. Mbara la dhigu. Ni na. Ode kambu. Ani masano la fo la fo. E chibu kola. Na wote kambu na na masaa na kuna vu ete fukola na vita ndiju wa yu na yu na na ime jimu wa yu mba arambe mba na wanyo mojo ni mba arambe e mbo no kichina kiku suru na kenda ya mba arambe mba mba jwa ano ma yu ano ma yu Yes. Yes. If you if you <laughs> eventually play if you eventually play this very clip to the end, you discover that he's <laughs> looking for job. The so end what? of this clip. If you play this clip to the end, you you discover that he is looking for job. He's asking Mazen Nandekanu that uh, please you should not leave him with that job you should put him into what is happening so to his own understanding is that he just needs mazin and can position me where i can be making living with the struggle because that is what he came out for do you understand because so many of them have been brainwashed like the way they are being brainwashed that uh, Mazin Nandikani is a scammer he's making money he's extracting money from Biafra so everybody want to open his own shop also to be extracting money because they are being brainwashed they are they don't understand the politics behind the, the struggle behind the struggle of indigenous people of Biafra even the deputy did not even understand that in this very struggle we are we are already raised to the level of international politics and they don't know they don't understand how this politics is being played and that is why they will be there and the mazi we keep we keep crying i need 100 people i need 100 people and they are there doing nothing at the end of the day all that they are looking at is that a uh, struggle for biafra is money making like the politics of nigeria it is money making so they also think this struggle for biafran restoration for liberation of uh, biafran is also money making so therefore they want to come into it was like look at was like who 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 cannot afford car look at him he has built house building hotel building you know these are the kind of thing they are saying and they, where did he get the money through the struggle and they will be looking at okay look at uchemofo because now i can say it openly because i have heard it from uchemofo look at uchemofo he's sitting down in one room there and he's saying i'm working 24 hours which 24 hours you are working in radio biafra that uh mazina the can tell him and he tell bbc Ibo, that he's aiming five thousand every every month five thousand pounds five thousand pounds agulonu agulonu apiajenya enyegi for that work that simply means that you are fully employed so and they only understand the struggle on that very aspect of uh, the uh, asking his wife uh, today's date is what they say uh, today is 29 oh salary is coming to, tomorrow is um tomorrow is uh 30 yet. salary is coming so the the position of their mind is that money aspect of the struggle money aspect and once the money is not coming then they they uh, they, they go off they go off yeah. and he called himself a prodigal son but this guy is not a prodigal son man you know why i say he's not a prodigal son because a prodigal son <laughs> only offended once when we heard about the prodigal son in the bible he only offended once how many times has this guy offended so he's the he's a kind of prodigal son is the type that when he come to collect then he will eat the uh, he will finish it eat the the food that is prepared for the pig for a while he will return again to the father 
So maybe we will wait him in the end of this month or next month again to apologize when the money that he has collected for this very journey is finished. Then he will come back. He said, I'm a prodigal son. Accept me. Don't leave me empty-handed. Put me into what is happening so that because I've been told that you are a scammer and you are collecting money from Biafra. You are eating. Video Bienu told us that you are chic is getting big so i want you to connect me also so that my own chic will also swallow up uh, you know all this thing <laughs> oh, here. Oh, oh, here. Oh, to be honest oh, with you yeah honestly it's very shy this guy there, there, you know? there is another angle i would also want us to look at the angle of psychology the angle of mental illness. You know, sometimes you see people and you see them robust, looking fresh and normal. But when you look at their life and their activities, uh, you when you, you are able to come into analysis psychologically, not everybody you see is stable. You have a lot of people with mental instability. And when you look at, you know, these people, if I find these two specific su subject they share one thing in common instability at some point the one in talking went to ipob in talking to even also go to apologize i said if he do anything against ipob let his children let his sons never call him father and today despite that you are right despite you are right despite are right. that despite that oath he took before his, the congregation of IPOB in Turkey, he turned around again to say he's going to bring IPOB in Turkey down. So we, we also have to, not just the, 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 the financial gain per se, we also have to look at the mental state of these young men and put, them, put that into consideration. It's very, very important. Yeah, you might be 100 100% right. right. But uh, for me here, um, actually, I have a profession of taking care of uh, mad people. You know, I, I work my the, where I work is uh, where you take care of mad people. So I know the level of their madness. That's why I, I can tell you what is happening to them. But we are not here to actually bring any personality down but we are here to condemn activities of people who um who has misdirections okay and that is why it's laughable that's why everybody is laughing in the studio because the activity is very laughable um yeah so but uh, in case if you guys feel that um their um, mental uh, instability is uh, um is getting high you can hand them over to me i can handle them i can keep them because that is my job to take care of mad people you know um to take care of mad people it's okay so, um, yeah but you yeah, must understand true. these guys Tell very you. well you must understand them you must understand them they are not stable they are not consistent so there's nobody to trust what they are doing they are just faking themselves and faking their life and that would be very dangerous for them because i'm telling you why it is dangerous to them is because any they can take a stone from anybody from anybody and that is why it is dangerous Anybody now, they can, that these activities they are telling, Aousa Fulani can just clear them off and they will come. You know, not here. Haba Potanuzo say again in Aku. Aousa Fulani can tomorrow now clear these people off. So, because they want to come and say IPOP, IPOP has killed them, IPOP, they can. This is a very dangerous game they are playing. Are they actually considering their own life and the risk behind what they are doing? So, they should. They should consider the risk behind what they are doing that they can put themselves in the hand of the enemies who will just brush them up and tomorrow they will want to say eh, these people is because they did video is because they did protest they should also consider that, that very aspect while engaging themselves into um, such a uh, uh, terrible activities thank you mazi thank you very very much mazi solomon and mazi kim I know it is very, very laughable. The topic we are discussing is laughable. That is why we are laughing. And that is what we need to do. Because if we don't do justice to this, I think uh, some people will not get it right. So we have somebody that just joined us in this uh, studio, uh, Mazi uh, Austin Okonkwo. Mazi Austin Okonkwo, kindly introduce yourself. Say hello to Biafrance and go straight 
to make contribution to the topic we are treating. We have other topics to talk about, but our brother Mazita Renemi is not here. And I believe if he was here, we will go into the second version of that particular topic. But however, let us hear from you first. Go ahead, my brother, make a, make a contribution. I see the heart, Nasar Gotoka. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you, Mazi Solomon. I, I respect you, Mazi Solomon. Good evening. And I also want to thank Mazi Patrick. You came. I've been following you people. Both of you are so wonderful, Mazi, the heart. Mazi Chukubi came up as a welcome and a good evening. for. Thank you so much for bringing me on this platform. So, uh, like Mazi Solomon said, let me start by asking Mazi Solomon. Mazi Solomon, please, we have to bring these people to your, to your psychiatric hospital. Then you have to check for us if this is a schizophrenic or, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I read from one book that mm. schizophrenic is one of the madness that you cannot cure because it is another kind of madness. Perhaps it, this is the type of madness they have. So uh, you will take care of them. They are still our brothers. <laughs> mm. I'm actually not looking for the cure and uh, cure to their uh, to their disease, but just to take care of them because they are too dirty. Somebody needs to look after them. You know, they are they okay. are too dirty with the job they are doing. You know how you take mad care of mad people is not about caring them, curing them. It's just about making sure they are update because these people they are they are not they are not update at all. You need to clean them up and uh, make them look like human. Because as they are looking right now, there is nothing to write home about. Yes. Okay. Let me Thank let me mind. let me just uh, let me make my own point and comment. And I want to say why the reason why they are behaving like this. You know, one of the things that is in the in the zoo, uh, like that particular guy we are talking about, somebody uh, DK, uh, from his statement and from everything that he indicates, show that he's a hungry person, and he is not wise. He's endangering himself. He's not stable. Oh, I have gone to his platform. Oh, 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 oh. Please, we are not mentioning anybody's name here. All right, sir. If you watch the way we are, if you watch the way we are anchoring this program, nobody have mentioned anybody's name. So if you are not in line in that, it's, it's better you shape your mouth. We don't mention anybody's name, please. Go All ahead right. and make a contribution. Okay, okay sir. So uh, for some of those uh, uh, people, uh, you can see. Uh, he himself, all of them, you see, they are hungry people, and a hungry man can do anything to sustain himself. Like Master Solomon, you are acquainted with the scripture. There was a place at the time that Satan told, uh, told God, he said, touch Job, and the Job will denounce you because a man can do anything in the exchange of his life. And I see that this is the area where they are going, uh, coming to Abuja, and also mentioning my name that I said I want to kill somebody and all these things. These are inconsequential uh, uh, comments. And uh, my stepmother, Sudokong, I have never mentioned his name, but I think in the due time, uh, they will visit what they are expecting. And because uh, Biafra must come and they cannot stop it. They are making themselves vulnerable. Like Mazi Solomon, you have justly right said, they are working for the caliphates, the Fulanese, but they forgot to understand that no matter how much you work for the Fulanese to like you, they must always see you as, an, as a southerner. So you are also uh, vulnerable for the attack anytime it comes. So whatever thing that I'm saying, they must be cautioned with everything that I'm saying and coming out to, to accuse the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra is a crime. Mazin Nandikana has never done anything. And they must be stable so that we can know where they belong. Not today you are stable, the other day you are a hungry man, the other day you are jumping from one place to another. So it is a very shameful thing to them. And they always make a mistake, the same mistake they did when they were in Europe, they carry also the same mistake right now to uh, Abuja. Uh, let them come to the East and do it, and uh, they will get unexpected kind of people. Uh, this is my contribution, and uh, I will contribute more when it's required. Thank you for, for hearing me. Yeah, thank you very much, my brother. Let us go into the next uh, segment, and we touch light it, then we we'll open our line and take calls, few calls, before we bring the program to an end. Uh, the next segment is the promise of uh, Ogoni clean up. The Ogoni land has been messed up. And the Ken Sorowiwa fought for this uh, Ogoni, because of this uh, Ogoni clean up and he died in the process. They killed him in the process. And uh, today, the government of uh, of uh, uh, Fulani Janjaweed promised that they're going to clean up Ogoni land. Number one is that the air that the people of, uh, our people from the uh, coastal region, the air they are breathing is already contaminated. 
is toxic already. The water they are drinking is already polluted. Then their land where they are cultivating and the uh, plant uh, and cultivating their, their, their crops is already destroyed completely. So all these are happening to our people. And as I'm speaking to you right now, in Guaramatu Kingdom, in Guaramatu Kingdom, their women are protesting because they are not benefiting anything. It is only Tompolo, only Asari Dokubo, only Ateketom. These are the people who who have benefited from the from the from the comp, from these uh, 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 foreign companies that have polluted our land, and nothing has been done to salvage this situation. And the, the uh, and, and the, the, the the science uh, the information I got that scientist says that in the next fifty years, if something is not done in this area, that there is going to be a disease that will come out from that area and start killing the people living within living within that very area and there's, there's going to be a, a natural disaster because the chemical they are supposed to use to refill all the places they are taking this uh, this um this uh, oil crude oil from they are not uh, replacing them they are not refilling them they are not neutralizing them so it is very very toxic to the health of our people over there so uh, it will be very very beautiful if mazi uh mazi tarinami was here uh, because he is uh actually from Bayosa state and uh, Bayasa is one of the states that is I've also suggested you put, if it is possible to put a call across, so he can you can he can talk to us through the telephone. I think the the idea would not be of bad course, if he can continue to uh, phone Yes, call I'm, I'm chatting him. Yeah, I'm chatting him up here, trying to know if he is ready to take my call. He is telling me that his network is very very problem. He is giving him problem. You know the zoo network is a very is a very uh, 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 useless network. So I will try to see if I can hook him up. But however, we all are in the system. We all know what is happening. We all see how they promise them. We all know how the the people of uh, of the, uh, from Bayasa, from River State, from Delta State are drinking the same water. We are the, we are, we are the, they are defecating. We are the, they are they are they are shitting inside. You know the same water. Where the bath, where the shit is, where they are taking water to drink. I, I ran a program here last week where I show some people who are fishing. Some graduate of chemical engineering students, first class, they are fishing. Young girls, young ladies, and young men. So this is the problem that is happening to our people in within that area. Now, my question is, why is some of them still telling us and saying, hey, we are not part and parcel of Biafra. You should take your Biafra off. Has, have they been enjoying from that part of the world where they come from? When we are crying and saying that enough is enough that they should, the, the, the cleaning of Ogoniland should be a reality. Let them go and clean that place because the, our people living in there, uh, their life is in danger. And some of them say, we are not part of you. I don't know if it is somebody that is paying the people to be speaking from like people who doesn't reason at all. I do not understand. So if somebody, if any one of you have something to say about it, please unmute your system and contribute because I'm confused how we are fighting to liberate them from this problem. And some of them are coming to, even on this platform, they are chatting. I do not know if it is our Safulani people that are using the, the names of uh, our people from the riverine area, you know, contributing nonsense, saying that and don't take us, we don't, we, are, we don't belong to your Biafra. We are Niger Delta. Please, I want us to go into details and say something. Mas Austin, I think you have something to say. Go ahead and speak to us. Uh, you know, one thing about uh, <clears throat> these our brothers in that that side, there's something we we used to say that and when you are so much on the contraction, you become so uh, the life of a contraction becomes one with you. You refuse to understand. So in poverty, he will never have the opportunity to see. The other side of life. That's why when you bring such a person to Tanshi, he say I got a toilet. I So our people have become so acquainted with such a life that they don't understand that there's a need for freedom. And the two, the system of the country has made their mind so dark that they refuse to understand that we are really fighting for their freedom. And anytime you push them, they say hey, we don't want uh, this in Biafra. We are who we are. And who you are is not, you can't even find out who you are. There was a time these things happened in Israel when Moses also was trying to take away the people from suffering. They are still fighting the man who wants to take them out of uh, suffering. These things that are, you see is a scenario that has happened long time ago. So such a people will be there 
and we we must continue preaching as much as we can and i believe uh, one day they will all wake up to understand that our leader Mazin Nandekano and all of us that are here, we are fighting for everyone to wake up. I want to thank our leader Mazin Nandekano for the eye opening. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Over to you, Mazi Solomon, please. You know you always make me laugh. You know you always <laughs> make me laugh. <laughs> when you drop one statement, <laughs> I'll go into laughing. Go ahead, my brother. <laughs> yeah um actually when um uh, when it is time to laugh we laugh when it's time for serious we'll also show people that we are more than serious so um coming to what you have just said we need to recognize the struggle of ogoni people that has claimed the life of their the people from that uh, area from that side of the world and uh, and the most important people most intelligent people in their midst this their struggle for uh, uh you know persuading nigeria to clean their land and uh, prevent the upcoming disease or infection that could affect people not only economically but also uh socially and uh, um, you see also that Nigeria are not building any health uh, facilities and uh, these people are facing this danger. And uh, you see that every economic activities in that very area of the, um, in that side of the world has been crumbled. So we actually recognize their struggle in that very aspect. And uh, again, uh, we also need to understand that uh, these people in that very area the, we needed to get really understanding of their interest, their interest, so we can be able to add their interest, increase their interest in our struggle, so they can understand that Nigeria cannot be able to Nigeria cannot clear their, cannot clear their land as they promised. That the only the only people and the only nation that can clear Ogoni land is Biafra of course and the why i say that it is biafra that we clear that land is because the the land belongs to biafrans the land belongs to biafrans so therefore like as Ibo adage said that na uh, uh, uh you understand that there's That's no it. way you can you can force to shit them to shit yourself there's no way you can cheat yourself that is why i say to them that is only biafra that we clear that very thing but we need to understand that in all these things everybody wanted to showcase that uh, i need to be recognized so therefore in my own speech i always recognize the people who died for the struggles of ogoni people who also were uh, uh, who lost property and other things in the struggle of ogoni people but the struggle of ogoni people is the struggle of uh, Igbo land, Ali Igbo. The struggle of Ogoni people is the struggle of Ijo. The struggle of Ogoni people is the struggle of all the ethnic group that comprise Biafra. So we are bringing everything together, and that is why we are saying Biafra must be free so that we can have time to save life in Ogoni land in the upcoming days where this where this uh, issue of cleaning this place we persist to the extent of creating disease to the people and creating uncertain death for the people so if you are an organic person listening to this very program then you need to support the restoration of biafra if actually you are sincere that you want Ogoni land to be clean, you need to support the restoration of Biafra because you, Ogoni land, being part of Biafra, simply shows that Ogoni land that is being messed up today will be clean when Biafra is restored because they have waited for Nigeria and Nigeria has given them their promise and the nothing is happening up to now and there was no plan on the ground to do the cleanup that was promised to Ogoni people. But Biafran have it in budget. Biafran include it in their struggle. That once Biafran is restored, Ogoni land will be clean. Thank you, Mazdi. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Over to you, Mazdi. Mazdi, Kim. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for that question. <clears throat> now, you talked about the people, uh, brothers, and you know, don't forget, I also come from Delta State, uh, from a nearby area. And um, we, we must not come into conclusion that um, 
our people in the riverine area are rejecting Biafra. Uh, until referendum is carried out, uh, we cannot come to that conclusion. It is only through referendum we can determine whether they reject Biafra. Let's not forget that when you talk about Biafra, people fidget, people see horror, people see terror, people see Biafra as, uh, as war. You know, so when you, when you see them, uh, um, you know, seem not to identify much with Biafra, it's because they, they, are, they are being intimidated. The Nigerian government is intimidating people to make sure they don't associate themselves with, with their real identity. And these people by now have come to the reality of the fact that Nigeria cannot clean up Ogoni. It is not yeah. possible. They can only make that promise. Mazi, can you hear me? The word is hearing you. Go ahead, my brother. Go ahead. I think I can hear you. having uh, network issues here. Okay. I'm hearing you. So the, the people of Ogoni... The people of Ogoni knows very well that Nigeria is not interested in their affairs. Absolutely. They know that very well. And for me, any of our people who seem not to uh, be up and doing in, in, in the struggle for Biafra restoration is born out of intimidation. Is born out of intimidation. Not because they read. No. But because they feel intimidated to identify with their real and the true identity. So we we should not come to the conclusion that our people in these riverine areas are rejecting Biafra. Certainly there are some voices who are saying, who are speaking contrary. But we cannot take those voices until referendum is conducted and they will, through referendum, determine if they want to remain in Nigeria. And I can tell you that if referendum comes, you will be surprised. In fact, everybody knows that nobody wants to remain in Nigeria, not even Ogoni people, after all that they have gone through and are still going through today. I agree with you. Thank you very, very much, my brother. I agree with you totally, 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 totally. And over to you, Mas Justin. I want you to say something in regards to this, because after this moment, we are going to open our line to begin to answer calls. And... Uh, May answer call maybe a few calls, then we will round up. Go ahead. Well, at this point, I think my two brothers have already hit the point already. There's nothing that will say, like what I said before, we will keep on uh, broadcasting and, um, uh, you know, gingering those of them also who are up, skip, uh, up speaking to keep on doing what they're doing with the help of our leader and the leadership of Martin and the Colonel. Every one of them will soon be awake to understand that they are not. A minority for what we are doing this is what i want to say i'm waiting for another topic thank you so much yes in biafra there will be no minority nobody is going to be a minority to anybody because biafra is going to be in it's going to be nations in here uh, uh, nations under a nation in, meaning that people of ogoni will have their own nation under biafra nation they have their own law have their own parliament have everything in place so nobody is going to see you as a second-class citizen because in Biafra, it is equality. And nothing like inequality. Everyone who, as a matter of fact, anybody who calls you, uh, who, who sees you as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, what do you call it again? Who, who, who see you as a minority? As a minority, is, is, yeah. as a minority is, is, is looking for a trouble. Because there is no how you are going to come leave your own fatherland to go to someone else to say that this person is a minority. We are all one people. It's not going to be like Nigeria. So on this note, we have, I want to bring somebody on. I want to bring somebody. I've been calling on this platform. Our number is open right now. Our line is open for those who want to contribute to this program. And I want to bring somebody online to speak to us. When he is done talking, then we will open our line for other people to call. Then uh, if there's any question, I will bring it to the uh, members of this uh, program. 
those of you that have come to make sure that this justice is done. Uh, Mazi, if you are still there, I, I'm calling you right now. Please answer your call. Mazi Jude, Mazi Jude, Mazi Jude from USA. Mazi Jude, I'm calling your number. If you are not there, then our line is open for those of you who are ready to call on this platform. If you want to contribute on this platform, whatsoever that you want to say, please, our line is open. You are more than welcome to make your contribution. You are more than welcome to make a contribution. Mazi Jude, please hold on. Hold on, let me put you because my my Mazi Judo for one minute. Yes. Yes, Mazi Judo for can you hear me? Your number, your, your line is not clear, please. Can you hear me, Mazi Judo for Yes. Yes, I hear you loud and clear, Mazi. Go ahead and make your contribution in regards to all the topics we are presenting yes. this evening. Yes, Marzi, regard to the program that you people have said this evening, in fact, the program is fantastic. Very, very good. Because this is one of the problems we have in Biafra land. Uh, good morning, Biafrans. Good afternoon, viewers. I'm name is Judo Kafo. Judo Kafo is from Agbo. Agbo is in Anioma. Anioma is Biafra. And Anyama is 100% ego. Marazi, you see those people that went to Abuja to carry placard. We must bring him and the canoe back. Yeah, we must say, uh, we are reporting it to UK government. These are the people that the Tory Bokwe has given money. These are the people that you sued Mohammed has given to Ibokwe money to go and be bribing our people. To be talking against Mazin and the Kano. You must, how can you bring somebody back to the zoo? Mazin and the Kano, first of all, is not a citizen of uh, Nigeria. And they just make fool of themselves by even presenting themselves in the front of the British embassy. Talking against somebody who is fighting for their own freedom. The other one saying is General Amenio. Before they went there, he was asking people to donate money to him on Facebook. Uh, and we want you people to get money to social, social account. We are looking for money to go to British Embassy. <laughs> Is it not the same? <laughs> How much did they pay them? For four for, for thousand naira. Only five of them, five of them gather in the front of the embassy. As, like I said the last time during your program we, we, that you anchor with uh uh Chibuzo. I said those people are hungry charlatans. Those are the people that they are using against our people. And the one thing I have to tell you, they have already announced themselves to the whole world that they are foolish. And they have put themselves in a very dangerous situation. Because they will be not, they will never, never go back to the other land. Udene himself will remain and continue to sleep in the court house that the man that is sponsoring him is a view for him because he's sleeping with the goat, the one son. <laughs> then he has invited uh, the general that was uh, fighting war in the in the in the in the, in the young farm, General Mimo or uh, Mimo, whatever is his name. That one he said is a VSN. He was asking for money, soliciting money from uh, Facebook. We are going to fight war. But the end of fighting war in the in the Gali farm and in the Yam farm <laughs> is that the people <laughs> what to say. I'm my surprise. He appeared again on video. I'm in the bush of Ninja Delta Creek. Uh, I'm talking from Bush of Ninja Delta Creek. Scavenger. I'm in the bush. He says scavenger. All the Sunday, yeah, all the Sunday, Mazi, he appeared again in Abuja. And he's talking with Udeli. But this is not the same that Udeli was deported from Turkey to the zoo again to help fire. That the only thing he can do is to be taking money from Alahaji, from uh, Joy Bukwe and other people to be talking bad about Mazin and they can well, they come late. They are late. Because Uche Mefor, the one that Uche Mefor is doing now is even worse than their own. But one thing they must know, Biafra must come. There's no two ways about it. Yes, if they like, let them try. Biafra must come. And Biafra around the world, let us remain stand. In the, make us remain 
Make us stand so that so that we can lead a man in and the canoe. He's the only man. The rest of them are fake. Now fake. Any group, government, the Biafra government, de facto, is fake. As I to Kubo, the greatest criminal of all time. Mr. 20 million. Is that the one that you want to leave you? Go and join IPOB and support ESM. I saw. And the Biafra will come. Marzi, thank you. Let me leave the floor for other people to talk. Thank you, Marzi. Thank you, Marzi. Thank you, Marzi. Thank you, Marzi. Thank you, you, guys. In the studio, you guys are doing the marvelous best work. Thank you. You took out them and bless you people. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, please, my fellow comrade, I, wait, hold on. I want to take more uh, call, maybe one or two more call. Then we will want to contribute. If you have anything you have to say about any of the calls that come in, then you will go ahead and do that. Let me return this call. This person has been calling. This person has been calling. I think I have to answer someone who is calling. I have to answer someone who is calling. Somebody is calling us. Yes, I have to answer this call. Yeah, welcome to this program, I see the host. Welcome to the program, I see the host. I see the host, myself, we talk um, um, In fact, I am, um, my you. name is uh, G.J. King. I'm calling from uh, United States of America. Um, I am happy with uh, what I see my brother is doing. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of you. In fact, each day I wake up and uh, I hear your voice, full of you there. I call you people the significance of love of Biafra because L O V E. Because this we are doing in out of love, that's what Basin and the Carlo has dedicated himself to do this for his people. But where I am going first is this entity called DK. I wish, I wish who I am at home, I will just picture their place and show you how wretched this fool is. Okay. This what I mean is this boy is a fool. He is just Himself. In fact, the, the interpretation about Joseph from a very poor man who, who is who is son, he, he called himself a political son. He is a rejected son of the family. When I mean a rejected, not really pronounced, but he was nothing. This boy, he called it, is yes, he's from Omoya. The, 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 the father and the mother is just a political teacher. And he's just sitting for irrelevance. This, I like the way we are discussing him. I wish in something further, the Afghans will, will, will make him to understand that he is nobody. Instead of this boy to help his parents, he had to spend with his poor mother and the only thing to think like a human being he is just there starving a bit trying to extort money from people that's what he's doing he has done it in protocol he didn't work he has done it in a way he didn't work he has done it everywhere he didn't work he just came to Awila to seek relevance now every media is carrying the picture of Tukuma who is he? even in our community he's nobody He's not recognized. He is known as somebody. Oh, yeah, money here. He should not have money. He was there was a time he was he was just felt that hey, just feeling. He was in what? That's what we talk. Because he is he is somebody. I I can't just believe it. I was just telling my mother a few minutes ago because here um, I was just telling her that look at the cause this boy is bringing to the family. When I mean when I hear every all the jokes, even the comments, everybody is cursing him. Only you a fool and every other thing. God cannot even forgive him. And besides, I have sworn in my life that anybody that comes between me and Mazen Nadigal, he has not seen me before, he, has, he doesn't know me. But anybody that comes between me and him is my enemy. That is that is one. Then another thing I want to say about uh, your evangelism about our brothers in the night. Uh, they call themselves like that. 
don't, I, I call them so watch the little bell, you know that these people called uh, Fulani, why do you hate this man it's because he knows them very, very well. And all of you in the written about this Nigeria, you people who do very well. That is why they, you know, they don't joke with information and they don't joke with anybody who is low. You see, you feel that you have oil, you feel that you have this thing. Look at yourself, look around you. Does it show you have those things? You can't have something and be better on somebody to be giving you that. Please, there are many people, many people from the coastal region believe in Biafra. As my brother Ikem said, it's just out of intimidation. When they get those heads, they say, hey, this, this, you feel intimidated. But within them, they are suffering even more than we are describing. Go to that place, they are, they, they, most of them are dying without being reported. Nigerian media can't even go there to do a survey to report what is happening there because they don't want people to say yes. You see, Gafra is the only hope for everybody. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very, very much for your contribution. That is a man from the same community with the idiot that was begging Mazen Nam the cannot to forgive him. The idiot that called himself a prodigal son. This man is from his community. He knows him to his mother's kitchen. And when people like this call on this platform, I am very happy because it is a testimony. They testify about the idiot that is always out there scavenging, looking for a place to get something to eat. He's a very hungry. He is a very hungry man. Agro, agro, Dianaro. And let us answer more one call. Then I come back to each and every one of you. Yeah, welcome to the program, Asile Hot. Stop listening to the device and talk to me direct from the WhatsApp line, please. Your name and where you're calling from? Good evening, sir. Good evening to you, brother. So we are calling from. My name is Isaac Ibachijo. I've been doing a program. We are calling from where? We are calling from where? I'm calling from Turkey. From Turkey. Welcome. So go ahead and talk to us. Yeah, I've been following you from. Uh, people my people are all aware about the people about the company. They are all aware. They are telling you guys. But the problem is that they have this thing I was speaking of. The military threaten them. If you ask around the people that are there, they are very happy. They will tell you what is happening. They say we get threatened all of them in the street. But what they are speaking? They know about the offer. If there is any referendum to go to me, they won't vote for the offer. Okay. Please don't lie. Don't take what you think is doing. Don't get let you get them to conclusion that your people are not supporting your father. They are all supporting. Please. I want you to, all right. brother. I want you to use your language because you are brought. You are, you are, the people, our brothers from Ikore are listening to this platform, and this program is going to be you your brother. Use your language. Okay, use your language and communicate yeah, with your people. You Biko, Osha <laughs> 
Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. I'm going to bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, now I am coming back to my people, those of my gallant men that are in the studio with me, live and direct. Uh, please, my brother, uh, go ahead, Marzi Austin. I think you have something yes, to say. Go I, ahead I, and say something. Yes, I have a question. I have a question for Marzi Solomon because I, I used to call him the wise man of our time. And I know he 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 will have some answer, and I thank God he he knows about mad people very well. And Matthew Solo, you know one of the things is this: I I keep uh, the other day contemplating. I say, what causes a man to refuse to understand that he needs freedom? You know, sometimes, like as I am here now, that's one thing I said when I was uh, making my video that that idiot, one of the idiots who went to Abuja is saying. I told them as I am now. I don't have a house in Africa for nobody to destroy. And I know what I'm saying. Uh, they said, I don't have a house. We have been here for a long time. But this is not the issue. My question is, what, what is it that comes into a man? Like, as I am here now, I know that I don't feel comfortable. I want to be a Biafran. I want to be free. I want to be free. And I want people also to be free. Why are these our brothers are not thinking the same way we are thinking? What could be the cause? Sometimes I... I, I I don't know if I'm from another planet. This is what baffles me, really. Okay. Um, when it comes to the brain of a man, there is different uh, uh, there is different partitions in the brain of a man. So if you listen to our people very clearly, when they want to talk about the functions of the brain, they always talk about it in this way, akon uche. So if you have ako, but you don't have uche, is still a problem and if you have uche and you don't have a call you are still it's still a mental challenge so you have to have a call uche together for you to function in a for your brain to function in a full capacity okay so now um uh, uh, when you talk about freedom uh actually uh if somebody's uh, uh brain is not functioning in a full capacity Freedom might mean different things to them. Like uh, the one that was talking in the, in the creek, freedom to him might mean just uh, the money to smoke uh, ganja or the money to smoke cigarette. Uh, that, would, that might be what freedom means to him. As long as he has enough money to buy Ibu and the smoke, then he's okay. He's, he's free. He's a free man because uh, that will help him to process in his brain that once this is done, I'm okay. I don't need anything X. I don't know what you guys are talking about infrastructure, about uh, future, about uh, uh, children, the upcoming generation. I, I don't know what you guys are talking because to his own, he's already satisfied in his own mentality, in his own understanding. That is what freedom is to him. And the, so to some other people, because we are made too much to believe the way the money was created in Africa and we are being given money. Now, most of the values we have for life and values we have to things has already been trans, trans, uh, has already been uh, transferred into uh, money. So everybody now is looking money that what they see as a freedom is money. That's why everybody is actually hustling to get the money that when they get the money, they have already obtained freedom and some people also freedom means to them to eat it all happened in the story of the children of israel you see so many of so, so many of them as they are walking towards freedom so many are saying let's go back and continue eating cucumbers in uh, in, in egypt even without them knowing egypt is a bondage to them but for them what they regard as a freedom at that moment is their stomach just uh, when they eat cucumbers drink uh, and drink uh, they are satisfied so that is why we are in a studio and that's why we are drawing a program to actually interpret to our people what freedom is all about. Freedom is not the money, the value you put on money. And freedom is not the value you put on food, on what your stomach can eat. Value is not what you put as what you can gain for now. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, freedom is not the value you put on what gain you can make for now. But freedom is all about uh, all about full package where you are politically free you can do 
whatever whatever things you want to achieve politically you can free to go through it without anybody uh, anybody describing you of coming from this side or coming from the other side or telling you because you are from here or because the color of your skin is like this you cannot go through this very means so freedom means socially you need to be very very free to uh, uh, as freedom of association you need to be free walk around your community live your social, social life in full then it also means economic economic freedom whereby you manage uh, your, your whatever resources that is in your place it is being invested for the interest of your people not as when they come to niger delta they come there and they extract oil they use the uh, the money they get to build abuja build uh, infrastructure in abuja but the place where you are taking the oil for they don't have freedom their waters are polluted there is no school there is no road okay so that is what we are trying to explain and to educate our people this is just ignorance that makes some people feel like they don't need freedom and it could also be a, a brain damage when the brain is not functioning in a full capacity so somebody might not uh, articulate that he needed to be free i want to give you one story and it could also be the very reason I was told this very story when I was small, and a man described in his book and said a dog was put in a chain, and each time that dog run to that point where the, the, the length of the chain is, the dog will stop. Then it comes even to a point when they remove the chain from the dog. So when dogs see the person, he will run to the sense, the sense spot and he will stop. He will not proceed because he's still having the mentality he's already soaked into that bondage he's, he has a brain damage in, in that situation so he cannot exceed that very limit because he has believed that i don't need freedom this is just my limit i cannot go more beyond this so that is also what happened to some people who has already been into the slavery for a very long time and now when you talk of freedom to them freedom is meaningless because they have been into this and their brain has already been damaged to the extent of not articulating to know the need for freedom for their life and they, once in the bible you also see there that in the bible that every seven years god give instruction to the children of israel that you should free your slaves but do you know in those seven years after in their seven years you will ask some slaves to go they will say no need we are not going anywhere we are we are we are we are we are, we are good with the slavery and the Bible instructs the children of Israel that those people who refuse to be free uh, as a slave in that seven years, when they refuse to be slave, then you will open their ear. So because their, their brain cannot articulate freedom, or freedom uh, again, then you open their ear. It's going to be a mark of a slave who was offered freedom but uh, refuses to be free. So these are all brain damage and or can be caused by ignorance and that is why we need to educate our people that is important to be free that what we have in nigeria is not freedom and we need to describe to them what freedom is all about because if you are free if you are free why is it that you are almost second-hand citizen in the country where you 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 are citizen so they don't regard anything in your environment we are talking about we're going to clean up since when that they plan this cleanup and it never happened just because they did not regard the life of people who are in that place so therefore they are not free they are in bondage thank you Mazi. i don't know if i answer your question but i will always very, do very, very, most very, more. very 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 clear i, I love you so much it's very clear thank you so much thank you yeah, yeah, thank you Mazi solomon and Mazi uh Mazi okoko uh, Mazi patrick do you have anything to say because there's somebody that truly want to contribute to this program the person is uh, is our brother, and uh, he, he speaks Aosa better than the Aosa people. He understands the Fulanese and their language, so he wants to contribute to this program because each time he calls on my program, I always ask him to also speak to the people who are listening to us from the northern side of the country so that they may understand what we are doing. So if you have anything to say, go ahead before I bring him in, please. Yes, um, what do I have to say? Uh, we, we have in the issue of Ogoni cleanup, and uh, when you look at the whole scenario, you find out that over time, 
the mind of the people have been conditioned to accept their situation. The conditioning of the mind can come in different forms. It can come even through persuasion or intimidation. And when you look at the strategy of Nigeria uh, and the Fulani, they, they be able to corner our people in the river. And that's why when you come online and you talk about Biafra, talk about our people in the river, right? Those who come to tell you that uh, uh, people in the river is not part of Biafra. Um, when you look at their name, they are full of names. Our sad names. They will tell you, say, these people, the Niger Delta, yeah, because they understand that they need to keep those people by the side to be able to deal with them. And the, the you know, imagine that they can't start the job of carrying everybody along. It's like spoiling a business for them. And that's why they say, why not take your five states and go and allow us you know, to, you know, handle these people. Unfortunately, the people who call themselves the Niger Delta do not even understand because their mind has been conditioned. They have been put so much in darkness that they no longer will see the light. But when they even see it's like when you see somebody who have a mental problem on the street and you try to deliver them or help them from that mental health, you become automatically their enemy. To become their enemy, it is you that want to clean them up and save them that they consider as their enemy. So the mind of our people in the river right area have so much been um, have so much been conditioned that they see their enemies as their friends and their friends as their enemies. That we that are even close to them that are seeing what we are not seeing, they see us as their enemies. That is why you see somebody from Ukraine, you know, even the evil name say he's not evil because their mind has been conditioned. And you know, you know, there is something that people need to understand. When you have been in slavery for a very long time, you begin to fall in love with your slave master. You know, you begin to get acquainted with that situation that yes, even. Sir. You, you, because you share, you share, um, you share the, the 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 roof with your slave master. You, you, you know, they, they have, they know how to control your mind. Now, the person who is fighting to free you will become your enemy because your slave master is the person you see every day. The person who is coming to free you. Is some is you know you see him, you, could, you could see him as a stranger because the person you have contact with is the slave master that you deal with directly on a daily basis. So when somebody from an outsider, even your own brother, who have because let me tell you something, the, the evil nation have not played their role, and that that is the area we have to recognize. Over the years, the evils who dominate this region have failed to connect with the people in these riverine areas. We must, we must take that responsibility. We have failed to connect ourselves and make them understand that we are one. If not for the coming of Mazin and the Kano, who have put so much effort in making sure that we reconnect back. The evil leadership over the years have given so much space that the slave masters have taken control of our brothers in the river Rhine area. That our brothers in the river Rhine area have become so much acquainted with the slave master that they now see we who are supposed to be there for them who are supposed to be more connected, they're not such as strangers. And that is why you can see somebody like Wike killing evil single people and running to Sokoto to go and give them 500 million, you know, because a, a market was bought. You know, so we need to look at this whole uh, situation holistically to understand that we also have uh, our own brain. 
we have our blame because we have not been able to do what we are supposed to do to connect very well with our people in the River Rhine area. And that is why they don't have that confidence because they see us as strangers. Not that they don't know that we are all brothers, not that they don't know that we are all connected, but we, because for a very long time, we have not been able to build that bond. We have not been able to build that bond. We have not been able to show them that we also feel the pain they feel. If not for the arrival of IPOB, who is now beginning to reconnect, trying to recreate that uh, a brotherly a connection that we've lost over the years, uh, the Igbo leadership over the years of Hane Zenbi, all the social groups are part of the contribution to the, you know, the failure and the, the situation we find ourselves. And we must take that into cognizance. Yeah, Marzi Pat, just before you run on, there is something I want to ship in. Actually, we know that there is failure of leadership in Imo land to have done the good job to make sure that all the people in uh, all the people in our areas are, 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 are together under one front for political reason. But we know, but we'll also understand that there is a role that the British also play in dividing us in that very region because they want to use this instrument of divide and uh, rule and uh, secondly again there is a kind of uh, uh, song that we used to sing when we are little in a primary school shingom sweetie na lapoto mabo na bede antony you know uh, now this our people you are looking at also they they use this issue of their interest telling them that they own the oil you own the oil you have the oil so therefore you should not you should stand on your own because most of them in in, a, in, a, in that are regions that have that brain damage is that they are believing that they can stand on their own they can stand on their own you know so they make them not to see the need of the togetherness of togetherness with their people also so they make them to see you have the oil you 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 need to kick out these people you need to kick out this and stand on your own so you share the benefit alone but they don't know that this is chingum sweet you know they keep doing that to lure them into that uh, 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 into that uh, selfish uh, selfishness so that is what nigeria did and British state and they get them to the corner where they are today, which their lands are being destroyed, and they are not able to stand on their own. The, the, the most intelligent and brilliant people in that region that have died in the hand of Nigeria, where they are trying to liberate themselves, and we must recognize their struggle. And the, our people must come to reality this time around that all those things that Nigeria is using to lure them, uh, you have all you, you can stand on your own. They just wanted to separate you in a very small unit so that it will be easy to deal with you so we need to come together as a people to liberate ourselves to enjoy freedom to have freedom as a people thank you Mas. thank you and i want to say something here i want to say something mm -hmm. when somebody fall into a pit and that person is crying help 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 when you throw a rope into that pit what is the job of that person the job of that person is for the person to get hold of that rope that you that want to rescue that person will pull that person out true or false that's the that's exactly true. hold on i am coming that, there is a reason why there's a reason why i want to use this phrase to start my own explanation because as i'm anchoring this program i allow i want you people to speak more I want you to speak more extensively that our people may see that we share common value system and our own understanding is also the inter uh, interwoven. When I am talking alone, or Ikem is talking alone, or you are talking alone, sometimes people will say, ah, what are, what are they saying? But when you speak, I speak, Ikem speak, they will see how interwoven. When you talk about these people we are talking about here, Ikem is trying to let us know that it's because of the situation that, found that, that they found themselves. And which you have also clarified that when you are already 
being uh, 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 treated, uh, uh, lived with a slave master for a very long time, that when somebody comes to rescue you, you will not even want them to rescue you. You use the Bible quotation to back it up. But I'm telling you that anybody that falls into a pit and somebody wants to rescue him or her, if they throw a rope for you and you refuse to hold the, the, the rope, you will die inside. The reason why I'm saying this is because during the war, I want you to know that there are some people from Biafran extraction that fought against Biafra. And some of them are from this riverine area we're talking about now. Before then, what was the situation? Has the, has the issue of oil been in, in place then? Have they been brainwashed then? Did they acknowledge themselves that they are the same people with these people as of 1967? That is another big question that we are going to look into. Because on my own side, if somebody like Kendule, Kendule, Serumwiwa, should fight against Biafra, should fight in the side of Nigeria as at 1967. If somebody like Azi Kadakaburu should fight against Biafra in 1967, if somebody like uh, what you call his name, like uh, uh, Ike or, or, or Masanda, Ike Wajuku, should fight against Biafra during that the, during that period of time, if somebody like Cyril Iweze should fight against Biafra, if somebody like George Kurubo, somebody like George Kurubo, Alfred Dieti, Spiff, Emmanuel Eko, Ekoi, Somebody, a uh, koi, uh, 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 These are people that these are Biafra people that fought against Biafra. What was the situation then? Did the British tell them to fight against their people, or is it out of the selfish interest that we are talking about? Ma we are Ma already, Ma we are already Ma in there is something I would like. Let me tell you the truth is, uh, we have to when we read history, we must read history and bring it forward. You know, there is some part of history that is so ugly and bitter that we don't like talking about it. You understand what I'm saying? It's like we are trying to shy away from this part of the history. And until we uh, until we come to terms and recognize where we, the Igbos, have also wronged our people in the in the in the river right area until we come to terms with this fact we we might never be able to achieve the healing we um we intend to achieve before the before the uh, before the existence of the declaration of Biafra if you can give me a minute listen listen Go ahead. before the existence of the declaration of Biafra there was a struggle led by Adakaboro, Isaac Adakaboro. Because Adakaboro was also fighting for this region that you call the Niger Delta today. It was our own Igbo uh, head of state that arrested him in the struggle because they believed in one Nigeria at the time. That it was even we the Igbos that put him in prison. We had we had the control with the love of the evil generals, including our late um, Ojuku, contributed to say that the, the the struggle of our brothers in the River Rhine area was also squashed. And these are some of their angers that in their struggle we fought against them. We must come to terms with this reality. And the moment we come to terms with this reality, they will begin to find a way to reconcile some of these issues. It is a bitter history. It was a mistake on the part of our, of our, of our leaders in the past. And we must come to terms with it. You understand what? So when you see them continue to talk about their exclusion, even some of the fights that the, 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 the Arakabro fought against Biafra, was because he wasn't fighting against Biafra because of he didn't believe in Biafra. He took a fight against Ojuku as a in person because Ojuku also participated in putting him in jail. You see, so we have to come to terms. Have we been able to hold, listen? Hold listen, on, my brother. Me. Have we been able let me to me. listen? Let yeah. me correct. Have we been let able to listen? Me have we been able to come to terms for the mistakes we have made? As evils against our own brothers in the Marine area. 
Have we been able to recognize our mistakes because we believed in one Nigeria and we, we try to satisfy this urge for one Nigeria, which we still see many of our people doing today, trying to satisfy the urge for one Nigeria. A lot of our evils in the police are killing their own fellow evils to keep one Nigeria in the military, are shooting their own fellow evils in the, today as I'm talking to you. You see, so we need to come to terms with some of these issues so that we will have a balance when we make discussions. We cannot continue to blame them because they refuse to take the rope. What happened before we threw that rope? We have to also revisit those, uh, those histories so that we're able to reconcile. Tell ourselves the truth where we made mistakes and identify with their pains so that we will see if it will be possible for many of them who are who are having uh uh you know biased mind towards us as a result of the role we played in history in the past yeah patrick you know, yeah what happened is i'm going to we are going to host another program in regards to this particular topic eh? we are going to host another program in regards to this particular topic and when we host that program I will make sure that somebody from Ijo is on the platform. Somebody from uh, Ikwere is there. Uh, somebody from Ogoni is there. Somebody from Urobo is there. All the people from Riverine area, I'm going to bring them together. Then we will open the floor. The reason why they have not acknowledged themselves as Biafrans. Some of them, not all of them. Some of them. Then this point that you bring out here will be, treat, will, will be treated uh, accordingly. Because Ojuku as a person was never the head of state of Nigeria as at the time that you say he arrested Azik Adakaburu. No, it was not. It was part of. No, he we are talking of uh, Abu Ironsi. No, yes, Abu Ironsi is an Igbo man. Abu yes, Ironsi is the one in position. Abu it was Abu Ironsi was in position, and Abu Ironsi was fighting because they have they have uh, they want to centralize the system. Agu Rossi is he even contributed to the problem we are, we are facing today because he is the one that took over from the from the civilian government and he he, 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 he squashed the system of a, a regional system of government and brought us together. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it was the, the it was he was playing the role that was given to him by the Janja Wheat. He was playing the role that was given to him. So as the evil man who was there, I want you to know that whatever he was doing there wasn't his own idea. The people behind him, we are Mas, Mas, most of the things, most of the things our past evil leaders did when they had position was not for the interest of the evils. They were they were acting naively because they so much believe there was this uh, interview that uh, our late um, eternal leader Juku granted. He said that when Nigeria got independent, that evils threw in everything they had, believing that they have gotten a nation. And that is with the spirit that we carry. We put in our effort to see that we get the best. And that was what happened. Agu Irosi unified the entire region, uh, abolishing the regional system of government, was to see how he could bridge the gap, to see how he could unite even the country more in his own understanding. Not because Igbo Man was doing badly at that time. In fact, the eastern region had one of the best economy at the time one of the best in fact the best in west africa Anyways, well, he didn't put uh, that into consideration uh, yes you see we're deviating from the from the point we are supposed to make here but let us move forward somebody want to contribute to this platform and he has been calling please allow this person to make uh, his contribution then we will we'll start negotiating and uh, preparing to end the program please let this person uh, make his contribution please Thank you. Hello. Welcome to this program, Asida. Welcome to the program, brother. Yeah, ma, good, good, good evening from here. Thank you. Good evening to the good evening, brother. Uh, uh, I have been. I can to start from uh, appreciating our leader. Uh, but you never tell us, say, as in the hot. I have to start. You never tell us, say, as in the hot. Now, so you go talk about I'm sorry. 
I see that I'm very, very sorry. I see the hurt. That's why I go talk up. Go ahead, my brother. I have to start from appreciating our our, our spring leader, Mazen Nam De Kalo. Because I always like to start from appreciating him and telling and telling him I in Igbo language, yet yet you see now. He should keep on the work of God that he's doing because um he's doing the work of God. He's not he's not doing the work of man. And you have to understand this. Anybody anybody who is doing the work of God, man must be fighting him. But at the at the end, he will prevail because he's doing the work of God. That's correct. So I I, I I thank him and I my my advice to him. He shouldn't anyway, he know that it's normal, he know, because uh, who who sent him told him exactly what he's seen today, that he will be like that, it will not be easy for him, but at the end, he will prevail. That's correct. So, second, second, secondly, um, those people that went to British Embassy in Abuja, they are irrelevant. You know, our leader, our, our leader used to say, if he doesn't have enemy, like, as he's doing what he's doing, if there is nobody fighting him, it seems like he's not doing anything. So that is why, when when you are fighting him, I love so much when I see people fighting him. I love it because I know what he's doing, and he himself is doing the work of who sent him. It's not his work. He's not doing his work. He's doing the work of his father who sent him, and that his father who sent him is Elohim. To come and rescue his children. So, for the people who hate who hate Nam De Kalo, I am not advising them to stop. They should keep on hating him. They should keep on speaking against against him. But let them. I want to, what I'm telling them. They should know. If you are speaking or you are fighting against Mazen Nam De Kalo, you are fighting against the Creator. You are fighting against the 10 million, 10 million Biafran that have that, that, that have that have died in this zoo called Nigeria. You are fighting against millions of people who die in Mauritanian Sea. You are fighting against people who locked up in jail in the whole world who die in the jail. You are fighting against them. You are not fighting Mazen and the Kalu. Mazen and the Kalu is only flesh who come to do the work of his father, Elohim, who sent him. So, um, we shouldn't be bothered about those people fighting him. We shouldn't be bothered about those people who go to Abuja just because I know they pay them a little money. They went there in Abuja, speaking whatever they are speaking, thinking that they are offending Mazen and the Kalo, but they are not. That is what I want to say. And secondly, another another thing is this. 2019. Are you listening? The word is listening. Go ahead. 2019, make it make it um, 400 years of slavery. Did you know that? 2019, August 2019, make it 400 years of slavery. Try go and check this. 2019, August make 400 years of slavery. Elohim, Elohim said, because you have rejected me, I am the God who rescued your father from the land of Egypt, and you rejected me. And now that you rejected me, I will let you to suffer. You will vandal I will vandalize you all over the world. You will suffer like what? But because I love you, after the suffer, after 400 years, I will bring all of you back. I will send my son, and my son will come and put all of you together. I will send you back to the home, which I did for your ancestor. You are, are you hearing me? Go ahead. The word is listening. So, you are fighting Mazen Dandekal. You, you are not fighting him. You are fighting God. You are fighting the millions of people who are dead already in this contract called Nigeria. So all this sabo, we shouldn't worry about all this sabo. We shouldn't worry. 
Even Jesus Christ himself, you remember, in even in the twelve disciples, there is Sabo in his own in his home in his home home. His people rejected him. We shouldn't forget this. Even Russia Revolution, many people that the revolution favor, they rejected it. American, when the American won their freedom, many rejected it. When Israeli won their freedom, many Israeli rejected it. They, they work against it, their people. So what I'm saying today is this. We shouldn't mind those people who are against Martin and the Kalo. Because I know at the end, as the as the act of Noah, you remember Noah Noah built the ark for God, and people was going inside the ark, and some people are laughing at him, but later it's only the people who go into the ark are saved. A day shall come when it's only people IPOP that will be saved. Every other people who are against Mazen and Lukalu will be destroyed and their generation will be destroyed because they reject the Son of God. So that is what I want to tell you people. Whatever you are doing, Maze Darlington, your name will be written as it is today in the Bible. A day shall come when IPOP will be the, all our names will be written in the in the in the book. And our generation to come will be reading it as the way we are reading Moses today. That's correct. Reading, reading David today, reading Abraham today, reading, reading Joshua today, reading all the Bible we are reading today. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't bother about the people working against Mazen and Lukalo. That young man is a son of God and he come to fulfill the work of his father who sent him. And nothing will stop him. Nothing will stop him. Nothing. Thank you. Thank so you, my brother. Is, this is what I want to say. Thank you, my brother. And I want you to use only about three minutes to pass message to the people who, uh, to the outside people who are watching this program. Okay. Asala, asalamu alaikum, Jamaa. I sunana maze owadeu. Abu abu deni keso ngiasu awo sawa motalemu. Kafendu kamu bekim patane. I come up baking butter, baking butter. Come up, but two revasor is all a zone to get a good answer. A zone a good amu, a zoyana carabama and amu, and a carabago namu, a son who took a mona father. A day suggests we bundiga a great naku to come on a bundiga, the mudinga cache juna. Casseria Tima Mona Belti, Yazuni Yakamata Suku, our sawa, Mota de Medubert, Mota de Arewa, Kutasha Belti. Kubi mazen na ande kalon. Sobo de ala ne akalman ashi. Ala ne akalman ashi kuma. Yasen e mumbin shi. E ze mufita atikin. Abon de muke atikin. Mba mumbin shi ba. Duk wende bebin shi ba. Ala ze sine duk abon de bebin mazen na ande kalon ba. Yenzudin ba zeka gane ba. Ama unkana de ido. Ido achiki. Zeka sen akanche wa. E aiki ala ike yi. Unka ito nane eza zaki. Ba enyamere bane. Ezazaki au sawane. Gamota lena ezazaki anke sesu wa ale ya magana nsu. Mazen na ande kalune ya magana nsu. Wa ale ya kila musu loya a chicken prison na abuja. Mazen na ande kalune ya kila musu loya. Abunde ya sake na zeka sen akan chewa mazen na ande kalu ala ne ya turashi. Galia watanyari ya wende su boko, boko aram sundoka. Sundoka ma asuna sasta chiki. Yenzu ta arufa polikom yaro na biu kumata la sota arufa yenzu wa ane ike magana ai mazen na ande kalo ya kamata dukan kuku tashi abelchi kubi eastern security network dukan mo 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 dok mo 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 ameru demo kasa nde ala ya bamo abu nde ike sio mji amuku kena kutashi abelchi mazen Thank you, thank you very, 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 very much, my brother. Na ita kapi ita kapi ita kapi ya ka ita kapi ya ka guru nde wo man nwa kadre na ma nde wo very, very much. That is our brother. You see why we are who we are. Why we are great people. The way he is speaking the language, even I don't want to stop him again because I'm enjoying all those takamuku takamuku. 
even though I don't understand what he was saying. Um, we are going to prepare from bringing this program to an end. And uh, Mazi, I want you to give us your closing remark before uh, we bring the program to the end. Give us your closing remark, Mazi. But before oh, you do okay. that, please give me just one minute. Uh, go ahead. Uh, okay, before, uh, Mazi, okay, okay. My hands are up before Solomon comes in, please. Uh, Mazi, uh, Balaise. You are, you know, Mazi Pat was saying something before about some of our brothers who felt being wounded or uh, during because of our past uh, uh, leaders. Uh, and you said something, do not forget, you, you made sure that you're going to bring some of our brothers from uh, River Rise and Ikure people so that all of us will come back to discuss this issue. And if you do it, I will like it. Because what well, the point Mazda part is raising is a very nice point. Some people are still having these glodges in their mind. But I think uh, last time when Mazda Namdekano, our leader, he hosted a program with some of our brothers uh, from the River Rhine. He touched also some certain things based on that point. So I would like us uh, to create a time with Solomon also to come around with some of our brothers, invite them. we we'll talk about these things so that we will really know where we're going to. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you so you. much. Uh, thank you so much, Mazi. At this very point, uh, um, yeah, we have uh, actually tried because we have been here for hours and people are sitting with their data to listen to us. So we, the issue of Biafra, we cannot finish talking at once. We will always have time to come back to it and come back to it. But the most important is that we want us to understand ourselves better. This very time uh, is not going to be like what it is in 1967 to 1970. Whatever thing is the problems, we will engage ourselves until those problems are being resolved. And the point that Mazepat also raised is very, very important because um yeah um there is mistake from the both side we know but uh, actually we know that our brothers at the time of that biafran war they have already going through the deceptions of the british and the deception of now using the flannies you know to make sure that divisions comes among us you know and uh, so because these are the strategies are being applied when they are already known that this thing is going to result in war so they started uh, uh, uploading strategies to divide uh, to divide the house so that they can win the war. So that are the things. But the sky has remained with us all this while, even after the war. That has even gone to the extent that Biafran lose and a lot of us died. So people start denying that they are not evils, they are not part of it just because they want to live or because they want to have an opportunity in Nigeria. So, but it is hard time for us to begin to put those things behind us to form a new front for freedom, for the purpose of freedom not for the purpose of anybody coming to answer anybody's name or anything but for the purpose of freedom which most of our forefathers have died for in ogoni land in Ijo land in all of our ethnic uh, groups our forefathers they died for this reason even in Igbo land so we are going to look at a lot of things and i will appreciate uh, Mazi Obarezek for to bringing this very program back again in which we are going to be together with other people to discuss it because I also have a lot to say in that direction. But Biafran, as closing as a close mark in this very program, don't, um, don't mind any individuals who are coming out in any in anywhere, whether in Europe, whether in Nigeria, anywhere they are just coming to talk about IPOP and talk about Mazin and the Kano on that side. Don't mind those people who are just doing those activities. I'm telling you, the reason why I said you shouldn't mind them is because if Nigerian cannot be able to stop IPOP, who, who is that individual on this very earth that is having mental problem or mentally drill that can come and stop IPOP. They all have to blah, uh, they, have, they all have to talk with their mouth and they will go back to their room. But the fact is that they are not working for you and they are not working for anybody. So, and it's very, very good you follow us in our programs in, BAT, in BTV and in other platform which we are broadcasting. So you get yourself educated and they stop minding people who are not making sense. Thank you so much for making me part of this very program. I'm very proud for being here and uh, i will also wish to come back anytime you would like to bring me back my name remains solomon peter all help biafra
Oh, hey, Biafra, thank you so much for watching. Okay. Over to you, Mazi. Kim. Ah, thank you very much uh, to bring this uh, program uh, to an end and to make my last contribution. Our people are supposed to understand that IPOB have become a very big institution. And in every institution, you have a lot of hands, leg, head, tail. And, you know, people would always want to use a, an angle to benefit. You cannot take it away. When you see somebody go to embassy to protest, they, they too want to also benefit. They also want to benefit. They want to see how they can use the IPOB struggle to get recognition. They want to see how they can use Mazen and the Kanu to see my Chokwalu, my Chokwalu Pobele Chokwalu Ife because they know that the moment you mention that name that you are against IPOB, that uh, you have chances of meeting people who might give you in country if you know that people should not take it as a as a big deal especially with the level of hunger uh, in nigeria today and people are hustling everybody is finding a way you know so people who are going to embassy to protest are looking for uh, those people who hate IPOB and they can see how they can also extort. Because even the person who say he created BSMS and all that, his duty is to extort money. And if he can go to the embassy and get some benefit, I mean, what stops him from, uh, from doing that? You know, so one other thing I would like to say is that let us not be afraid to admit when we get it wrong. Is there is nothing wrong if we got it wrong somewhere. We admit it, reconcile it, and move forward. But so far, Martin and the Colonel have done a great job, a job that has never been done in generation. Our people in a, a River Rhine area today, as much as some can disagree, at least they, they are beginning to understand that we have them at heart. Despite the fact that some of them are saying, no, we are not Biafra, we are not Biafra. But I can tell you that within their hearts of heart, they are happy that the Igbo brothers and sisters are recognizing them, bringing them close. And this is a job that have been, that, that our leadership, the Igbo leaders have failed to do over the years. And IPOB is doing that job. And I believe that it is a matter of time they will start appreciating the effort. Mas, I want to say thank you very much for giving me this opportunity uh, to be in your program this evening. And I want to encourage their friends to continue to follow our program on DTV, where everything is happening. And also follow Atite Hot, because Naso Mazi Opalize. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you very, very much. I'm humble also for you people to have honored this clarion call for us to do justice to all these topics that we have talked about this evening. Mazi Austin, please go ahead and uh, um, give us your closing remark too. Well, dear friends all over the whole world, I greet you all. I want to thank my brother that just left. Mazo Perez, I give you kudos because of your great job that you're doing on expository series. I call you uh, the, the, the lion of Africa. Let me tell you, you are doing a great job. May God bless you. Uh, it's because of you people that we stand. Many of you that have been there before us, that's why we stand. Because if you people give up, we that joined new, we would have given up. But since you stood, we stand with you people and the helping Biafra to come. Concerning those people who are parambulating with the files, moving around, asking arms on the streets, uh, Biafrans, please do not mind those people. Uh, there's a way to know a hungry people. Their words are not steady. They can, you cannot trust them. These are the people. And the only thing I want to let us know also, Biafrans all over the whole world, that the man who is leading us is an incorruptible person. He's Mazinam the Kanu. He is he's a man that God called. He knew where he's going. He has a direction. He has the manuscript to where we're going. And all our comrades, people like Mazo Perez, those people who have been here, Mazi Patsuki, Kemon, of course, Solomon, all of them that are our, uh, our foreman on this struggle. We are all following them. They know the direction. So I would like you to be stable. Do not mind any inconsequential people. For me, I will say Biafra has come. That's why I joined. May God bless all of us as we join us in the Hot TV and BTV TV and also follow Mazo Popo 
Biafra TV. God bless you, Mazo Perez. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And thank you each and every one of you. And <laughs> I cannot stop this. I cannot close this program without playing this song. Let me play this song. After that, I give my closing remark. <laughs> Is <laughs> 
Yes, thank you very, very much, my people. I remain your one and only brother, Mazi Obeleze Chukubi came. As you can see, we have brought this program to you today, and I believe you enjoy it. I want to use this opportunity to thank all the people that are invited, all my fellow comrades that have invited to this program. Mazi Patrick Ikem, you are a great man. I love you so much. Thank you so much for your contribution. Mr. Solomon, the Solomon of our own time, I also thank you, my brother. Thank you so much for your great contribution. And Mazi Austin Okonkwo, you are always there watching my back. You are my brother from another mother. And Mazi Tarinemi, we know that you, you truly want to contribute to this program, but the network did not allow you. I believe that our people used to say, Nanobanata, Echewunta, if we miss the target today, tomorrow is another day for hunting. And I thank each and every one of you that have watched and shared this program. I see the heart, that's how they bring them. And I remain your one and only brother, Mazi Obale Sechuku Bikem Ago Biafra One, Kembo Nambun Wanine. I want to use this opportunity to thank our leader, Mazi Namde Kanu, the great leader of indigenous people of Biafra. You are our leader. You are our leader, and because of you, all of us have come out to support you and fight and get our nation restored. I say, Mechuku Kema, bless each and every one of you, and bless you, Mazen and Kanu. Bless your beautiful wife, Uchechi Okukano, and bless every Kanu family. Bless all the principal officers of this movement. We are moving on. There's no man born of a woman that can stop us. All the charlatans that are gossiping, yapping, jumping up and down, doing whatever they, are, they, they think they want to do for, for them to get something to, to eat. All of you should remember that you have written your name in the book, in the bad book of record, in the bad book of record. However, I see the heart, that's how they bring them, give you. I pray that you go, Kevin, I should protect every Biafra man and woman, wherever you are residing all over the world. From this moment, anything you touch shall turn to gold. I thank each and every one of you so much for listening and sharing this program. Thank you so much. Wait, and we are going to bring more beautiful programs to you in the upcoming days. Day one, Kachina Kikozu, I love you all. Bye.